Hi, Voss. How are you doing? We are playing stuff for the night today. We played the demo for this a really long time ago, which the demo was already like a really cool game itself. Uh, so I'm excited to see what the full game got in store. If you didn't watch me play the demo, uh, this guy right here is a pixel art right now, but there's also the the normal guy of this because uh, it's, it's like a game within a game. So there's this masked guy who tries to break into your house and forces you to play a cursed video game, uh, which also in that video game, he is also in the video game. It's like it's like a weird game within the game situation. And we're just trying to survive. Uh, suffered the night, as they say. Uh, and we'll see uh, what they got, what they changed for the full game. I remember the... Hey, I don't know what they're going to do. Because the original game was already amazing. So I'm just super excited to see what they got in store for us. And we're just going to hop straight in. It's a long game. So let's, let's go. We have no time to lose. Go say hi, YouTube. Here we go. <clears> hi. <throat> Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Suffer the Night. If you remember, I played the demo for this a really long time ago, which the demo was already incredible. This is basically, it's like a game within a game situation where you have a masked guy who tries to break into your house and forces you to play a cursed video game. And if you don't play the cursed video game, he's gonna kill you. And in the video game, he's also trying to kill you. And if you die in the video game, you die in real life. It's crazy. Uh, we're gonna have a great time. I'm excited to see the full game, what they got in store for us. I hope you join us. If you not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it just like it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go Alrighty, here we go oh baby <clears throat> oh loading suffer the night that's the name of the game stacy <gasps> what the hell? oh my god stacy is that our name look at are you sleeping with shoes on the bed must have dozed off Jeez, this storm is really picking up. What is this psycho? I can't, sleeping on not under a blanket with shoes and everything. Uh, must have just fallen asleep, I guess. Uh, oh, this room looks amazing. I should check the radio for an update on the storm. You check the radio for an update on the storm. I remember this room. Check this updated. We're listening to the radio. <laughs> Siren Ed. Very quiet. It's too quiet. Can I turn up the volume? Uh, audio. Dialogue volume is at 100%. Are you kidding me? I guess we're going to turn this up and everything else down. I guess this just goes 100. Here we go. Audio quality high? Why not? Epic? Uh, what, what does audio quality even change? All right. Well, let's try. Oh. Wait. Yeah. yeah. You kept talking while I was in the menu, you peas? All right, I guess we're going back. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm trying to listen to the radio. <laughs> Scammed. The pause doesn't actually pause. What is this, Dark Souls? <laughs> Excuse me? Anyway, this is an old computer. Holy shit. I got scammed. Thank you, Void, for the three. Luke X for the nine, by the way. Kookie with the 20. Stacey. Jess with the tier three, 29 <gasps> months. Mal with the 14. Umbra with the 24. Thank you, guys. All right, let's do the radio. I must have dozed off. Jeez, <clears throat> the storm is really picking up. Love the voice acting, by the way. You gonna say check the radio? I should check the radio for an update on the storm. All righty. Very quiet radio. This is an emergency broadcast. This is not a test. The county of Sleepy Woods Mountains has issued a severe lightning storm warning. That is Subtitles are unreadably small. The National Weather Institute is saying this is a category two storm with sustained winds ranging from 74 to 87 miles per hour and should last all through the evening into tomorrow night. Okay, so the I could barely hear that, but there's a very big storm going on, and our power is probably going to go out at some point, is what they said. Anyway, uh, can I turn up the can I turn up the subtitle size? Because that's actually insane. It's a small. That might have been 
This game might have just gotten the world record for smallest subtitles I've ever seen in a video game. That's insane. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to deal with that. I don't think I've ever seen smaller subtitles than that. Right. Well, I guess we're just gonna go out, interact with door handles to drag them open. Oh. Like Phasmo. Not I'm reading. really hungry. Some eggs and toast sound good. And some coffee to wake me up. What are we? What time is it? Oh, no, no items in inventory. Uh, isn't it in the middle of the night? I mean, I guess I would be loving. Like, I would love to go to sleep in this weather. I usually listen to like fireplace plus rainy noises when I go to sleep. I, I don't think there's a sound more soothing to me personally than the sound of a rainstorm plus uh, like a crackling fireplace. It's, it's amazing. Gets me to sleep immediately. Uh, but I guess we're going to cook uh, some breakfast at... What time is it? What time is it? It is... in the. It's midnight. It's almost 1, 1 a.m. Excuse me. Well, okay. Uh, let's put some toast in the toaster. Give me some toast. Open the fridge. Get whatever's in the fridge. What the hell? The door's trying to open. Give me eggs. Yes. Take the eggs. Picked up egg carton. Check. Bread. Pick up bread. Picked up bread. I didn't even open it. Put the bread in the toaster. Put the eggs in a pan. Where the pan at? Pan in here somewhere? You got chippies. More chippies. How the fuck is the way the doors open in this game? There, pan! Take the pan. There we go. I've done it. I need to butter the pan. Butter. Dude, this is cooking stream. <laughs> this is this is a cooking game, guys. Totally. Is there gonna be a guy out there? I should probably put the eggs in. Oh, the toast's already ready. I need a plate though. Is this plate clean? This plate doesn't look very clean. Can I clean it? I'm gonna say I need a plate. Never mind, I just picked up the toast anyway. Uh these eggs are gonna What how do you guys like your eggs? I think I'm a I think I'm a simple egg guy. I don't care how you give me did it just ding like a freaking microwave? Excuse me. I need a spatula. The spatula's right there. Uh, you don't like eggs? I need, I need a plate to put on. Yeah, this plate right here, right? Oh, it's not clean. Are there plates up here? I don't know your kitchen. You know your kitchen. Thank you. All right, plate, egg. I genuinely don't care how you give me give me eggs. I'll eat them. I love eggs. Uh, but I I'll take them scrambled. I don't care. Also, look at the cinnamon toast. It looks yummy. Yummy midnight snack. Pretty hefty midnight snack, I gotta say. Uh, I mean, I'm a midnight snack kind of guy, though. All right. Well, this house is massive, by the way. We must be insanely rich. Or is this like Alabama where no one wants to live? So you can buy a house like this for 500k or something? Maybe. I'm gonna turn on some more lights. So I... Is this... Such an empty house. What the hell, man? I've been looking into houses recently. And, uh... Houses are damn expensive. Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna go to my computer. Make some co- Oh, never mind. I need to make coffee. I was just- I was just gonna do what I wanted to do. I wanted to play some video games on my computer. Alright, I guess I'm making coffee. I mean, I kind of want some coffee as well. 500k that's so much money though dude you should if you think that's a lot of money you shouldn't look at the house prices nowadays houses in the netherlands are absolutely disgustingly priced i need the coffee pot first oh my god there i got this there get the coffee pot now i need some ground coffee beans i see them over here ground coffee beans this is a freaking full-on coffee making simulator did i just eat the plate yeah where did the plate go <laughs> Did I just eat the plate? Excuse me. <laughs> Cooking simulator. Can't even see out my window. Where am I, dude? I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm like on a... I feel like I'm in a lighthouse or something. Can I go outside? Probably a bad idea. Probably gonna go like, no, you don't want to go outside. I don't need to go in the basement at the moment. We got a basement. All right. Got some coffee. Your... I got an achievement. Your ex egg I some extra special. In down in the basement. Now I need to go into the basement. <laughs> you just said you didn't. You lied to me. Check my inventory for a plate. No items in inventory. The magic plate. It dissolved. Plastic plates. There's people that actually use plastic plates in their daily life because they're so lazy that they don't want to do dishes. Um, 
just dash the washing machine. Yeah, I'm just all living all by myself in this absolute insane mansion. I need the basket of dirty laundry first. Okay, this one. Yes, put it in. Boom. Just goes in. It's me, Mila. The, the German brand or something. Like a real brand. All right, we did it. Objectives, head back upstairs. Oh, hello. What the hell? I saw that face. Hello there. <laughs> this is a tiny. That was the front doorbell. Who would be here at this hour and in this storm? Oh, we're gonna have to immediately hide and run away. Don't open the door in a storm like this. When did this envelope get here? Oh, envelope. Hi there. Oh, is this a cursed game? Break seal to Stacy. That's a fancy looking letter. Surprise, smiley face. The floppy disk. You a floppy up disk? Where did this come from? There's no one at the door. Uh, I would be insanely concerned. I would not throw this in my computer. There's probably been floppy viruses back in the day. Also, I'll move chat over to the other side so you guys can read the objectives a little better. That, that, imagine getting a virus through a sloppy, sloppy disk, <laughs> floppy disk. <laughs> the ultimate shame. All right, here, throw it in the computer. This is one old brick, huh? Airlock. Suffer the night. Press enter the start. Your nightmare is just beginning. The twisted pendulum of faith now swings. You awaken in on cold, wet stone. The air is moist. A sickly sweet odor fills your nostrils. It's dark. You can barely make out your surroundings. List of commands. Oh, we can get up. Just give me one second. Uh, can I... Can I, like, reduce the this can i make this smaller is that gonna automatically adjust the font size maybe is that what we can do i know the game is gonna be messed up now because this is unreadably small uh let's see if this works i could also turn that down even more but that seems a little ridiculous <laughs> you went to wash your hair what did you miss you missed me making eggs all right let's see does this work That did not change a damn thing. And it also looks extremely washed out for me now. So I guess we're going to stick to stick to my normal my normal thing. You can zoom in on the screen. Hopefully that'll help. I'm just trying to figure this out. I'm trying to make your experience a little better. But it seems like I can't really do much with the settings this game got. Uh, okay. List of commands. Press 1. You slowly rise to your feet as you do a sharp... Can we zoom in? We can zoom in on the screen. I'm clicking... Oh, here. Uh, you slowly rise to your feet as you do a sharp... As you do, a sharp sting is felt throughout your skull and your vision blurs, then refocuses. You are in some sort of cavern or cave. There doesn't seem to be any way forward other than a tiny gap between two enormous rocks. It is just wide enough to crawl through. List of commands. Press 1, crawl through. Let's search first. Nothing was found. Feels bad. Uh, press four. Use items. No items in inventory. What if? What about the plate? Uh, you emerge from the crawl space into a large cave. It's almost pitch black, with the exception of a single light shining down from a cliff face. You notice a step ladder carved into the stone of the cliff face. Uh, is there someone here, by the way? Look at that chonky ass Winnie the Pooh. Holy shit! <laughs> That's a chonky boy. Uh, Exception of shining light. You notice a step ladder carved into the stone of the cliff face. Well, climb. Let's search. Every time search, nothing was found. All right, climb me up then. Uh, you reach the top. An you reach the top. An old metal torch hangs from the wall. Its flame flickers and sways as a breeze blows from down from the path. The undeniable smell of rot grows stronger. List of commands. Press one. Go forward. Press. Okay. Well, search again. Nothing was found. Uh, I'll just go forward. You enter a large open mausoleum, its chambers empty, except surrounded by fresh wax candles. A single dimly lit coffin sits at the center of the room. The pungent odor seems to be at its strongest here. So you're right, there is a large wooden double door. Well, now we got to search, right? Oh, you open the coffin lid and are immediately overcome with nausea. From the grotesque stench. Inside is the corpse of a man. His face and chest have been eaten down to the bone by maggots. While searching the coffin, 
and body, you notice an old key in one of his hands. Disgustedly peeling back each finger from his rigor mortis induced hand, you take the key. We got a key. Uh, I would like to go right. Two torches light the large wooden door that block your way. You try to open it, but it is locked. A key is required. Use item. Use the key to open the door. The path leads to the right. Go to the right. You t Excuse me. Extremely cursed. <laughs> oh, whoops. Turn a corner into a long hallway. Uh, torches light the way along the narrow path. Just as you investigate the surroundings, a gut-wrenching scream echoes of the walls around you. Excuse me. It's a game within a game, but the game is real life. Excuse. Uh, list of commands. First one, uh, let's search around. Nothing was found. Go forward. Continuing down the path, you come across a small sepulcher. Housed inside are two small coffins. They have been nailed and fastened shut. Shut. Cobwebs and candles litter the surrounding area. A small clay urn sits in the corner next to the next to one of the coffins. Search the urn. You check inside the urn, expecting to find ash, but inside the light catches a glimmer of something shiny reflecting back. You reach in and find an antique lighter. A small inscription has been scratched off, perhaps a family heirloom. You apply pressure to the spark wheel, which strikes the flint and ignites the old wick. Surprisingly, it still works. The lighter was added to my inventory. All right. You head, you attempt to proceed, but the path ahead is obscure, obscured by darkness. Use the lighter. Using the lighter, a large... What the hell was that? It sounded like an explosion. Oh, the power just went out. Oh, fuck me, I guess. Uh, did someone just explode my power supply? Is it... Oh. It looks like the transformer blew. Oh. Lightning must have struck it. I need to turn on the backup generator in the basement and reset the fuse box. You got a damn backup generator too? That's fancy as hell. That is something I never have to deal with. There must be so many people that live in a place where you just like regularly get like storm season and you just have like power outages for like days at a time. I could not live. Like I would, I would have to move. Like I can't. Like, it would ruin my life. <laughs> like, in so many ways. Not just personally, but Damn, also professionally. I forgot to refuel the generator the last time I cleaned it. There is some fuel out back in the boathouse. Uh-oh. I should grab a flashlight from the garage before heading outside. Uh, I mean, I guess the power outage isn't, like, suspicious. I think I left the key to the garage in the bathroom last time I took a shower. Okay. Taking a shower. I mean, we're not taking a shower. We're going to the shower. I'm assuming a shower is next to your room. I kind of just went with that. This house is so freaking empty. You wasted... I mean, I guess... Ooh. I saw someone's face. Someone was taking a shower. Excuse me. Power surge? Shit. A fuse must have blown. That light bulb is toast. Does that make any sense? A fuse must have blown? That what... Doesn't blowing a fuse just immediately turn off the power? I think you're I think you're a little gullible, lady. I don't think this is this is normal. Oh, there's the key. Uh pick up garage key. Dude, look at this freaking empty hallway. What a waste of space. What a complete disaster this house is. What an insane layout. Alright, we're going out. Garage key is probably over here. I need to garage key to open this door. Yeah, how about you do it? What? Oh, I need to do this and then click with this. Rotate item. Use item. How do I use this item? Is this not the garage door? Did it not say that? I need the garage key to open this door. How about you open the fucking door with the garage key then? Oh, I need to click on the lock itself. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I see. Makes sense. I didn't realize you were stupid and had to be taught everything like a little baby. Like a little baby bird being fed, puked up keys uh give me a flashlight thank you i should head to the boathouse out back there should be some fuel i can use for the generator there i will go outside in the rain i'm singing in the rain jesus christ that thunder strike looked like it was right in my face just what the heck this is the most glitchy looking rain i've ever seen in my life 
It's actually it doesn't even look like that much rain, honestly. I like there's a lot of space in between them. It's milk rain. It's raining milk. It's lactose intolerance's ultimate nightmare. All right. Um, we are looking for fuel. I need my jerry can to transfer the fuel. I think I left it on the dock. My lady, you are insane. Are you living on a damn island? Are you a lighthouse operator? It's empty. I need to refill it. There is a fuel pump inside the boathouse. Are you the lighthouse operator from Dredge? Now I can refuel the backup generator. I should head back to the basement. That's crazy. Look at the um, look at the size of this land, dude. This is all yours? You own this stuff? This is wild. I mean, it's too isolated. That's another thing. When you're looking for houses, you're not just looking for, like, a, like a good place to live, but you're also looking for, like, what is the place you're living in. Which is actually, it's not as hard in the Netherlands because you can basically get anywhere very quickly here. Wasn't I? Yeah, this door. But I can imagine in some places... Like, if you live in some parts of, like, Alabama or Florida or Texas, there's just, like, no... Nothing surrounding you for, like, the next 50 miles or something. Uh, the complete middle of nowhere. Okay, we got the fuel. Sorry, I'm going into the basement. I got distracted by Texas. She's done with people. I mean, she... she yeah, she's just like, I want to isolate myself completely. She sounds pretty young, though. Crazy. Now I need to reset been... the circuit breaker. What's your job, lady? And that should restore the power. Boom. The power should be working now. I should head upstairs and call in the busted transformer. Also, you have never said anything about the video game. Do you even want to play that video game? Why did you just do that without question? Like, there was no, no second of hesitation playing a cursed video game that was put into your letterbox at, like, 1 a.m. in the middle of a storm. You're just like, whatever. Um, okay, I was gonna call in. Is there- do I got a phone? Do I got a phone? What's this? Power is limited. I shouldn't turn on lights unless I need to. How about you call someone? Where's your phone, lady? Oh, whoops. I have a flashlight. Use the phone upstairs to call in the bus to transformer. Is it- is it in the hallway? You got a hallway phone? Oh, is it over here? Oh, she's painting! She makes paintings? I mean, if I- if I have learned anything about playing The Sims, it's that making paintings is by far the best way to make money. Probably the same in real life. <laughs> Dude, it's so OP, dude. It makes so much damn money. Especially if you also have a normal job on the side, you go absolutely sicko mode. Just have your whole family- oh, here, phone. What? There's no signal. The line is dead. <laughs> Did the storm knock out the phone lines as well? Well, bye. No call. Oh, ding dong. Um, the doorbell again. What the hell is going on here? Is someone playing a trick on me? You are very unconcerned. Oh, hi there. Uh, sir. What the fuck? Look through the people. Hello? Who's there? Hello, young lady. My vehicle broke down on the road a ways back. May I perhaps come inside and use your phone? Uh, no, thank you. What are you doing all the way out here? <laughs> are you the one who put the floppy disk through my mail slot? Floppy disk? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. It had your face on it, though, or uh, your smile, you at least. You didn't answer my first question. What are you doing all the way out here? Well, you see, I have family up north. It seems yours is the only house I could find off the road. Well, I'm sorry, but the phone line yeah, seems to be convenient. down in my area because of the storm. <laughs> oh, really? The phone lines are dead, you say? Uh, well, she's smiling. I can come in to dry off and get out of this storm. <laughs> I'm not in the business of letting strangers into my home. I'm sorry, but you can't come in. <laughs> Very well, Stacy. I'll find my own way in. <laughs> uh, 
my guy you could I mean you could literally just break a window and walk in there's not much I can do hey sir I have cameras I hope what are you doing oh oh no he's just gonna break the window what are you doing hello oh god what these fucking spider-man <laughs> What the Excuse hell me? is going on? How did that creep know my name? <laughs> How did he climb like that? Oh. Don't go upstairs. What the hell was that, dude? Is that over here? Is this the phone? Oh, it is the phone. That was like a mobile. Hello? Is anyone there? I need help. Hello. Oh, <laughs> of course. You uh -oh. sick fuck, why are you doing this? I want you to finish my game, Stacy. Why didn't you tell, about, tell me I'll anything about the floppiness then? You. If you finish the game, I might just leave you alone. I'm not playing your stupid game, you bastard. I'm warning you. Leave me alone. I, I have a gun. I know you're lying, Stacy. Why don't you have a gun? Now finish the game, or I'll come in there and skin you alive. Jesus. Like, if you live out here, like, I'm not the greatest fan of guns, but if you live out here far away from police, like that, and you live isolated, like that's where I understand like the, the, the right to bear arms. Cause then like, <laughs> what are you gonna do? In a situation like this, it would be, it would be nullified if you were, Hey, Kona. Nothing would happen because you would just be like, hey, let me shoot you. <laughs> Using the lighter, a large stairway is illuminated in front of you. You try to make out what's at the top, but it's too dark. Search. Nothing was found. Go at the top. Using the lighter, you reach the top of the stairway. The light is so dim, but you can make out that the path continues to the right. Go to the right. Uh, you enter a spacious room with a large round wooden table at its center. On the table sits a small lockbox. Yeah, look over my shoulder. No one here. Um, there's a small lock box chained around the box and feed into a skull. This locking mechanism is located in the mouth of the skull. The room splits into two paths, one blocked by a large iron cage, the other open. Let's search. Nothing was found. All right, I guess we're going. Oh, whoops. Uh, I guess we're going to the right. You approach the path on the right. In front of you is another set of double doors. This one is suspiciously has one door half. This one suspiciously has one door half open. The room ahead is hidden from your sight. Uh, I guess we go forward. You attempt to proceed, but the path ahead is obscured by darkness. Just use the lighter. You... Is he on the roof? He's on the roof. The guy's on the roof. He's climbing on the damn roof. What a maniac. Excuse me. Uh, using the lighter, you illuminate the hall hallway. It stretches into darkness. The air is stale. Clay urns are scattered all over the floor. You knock one over as you walk, and the ash is kicked up into the air. Your nostrils and mouth are filled as you breathe it in, causing you to cough. You're, co you're breathing in your grandma? Excuse me. Church, nothing was found besides grandma's ashes. Go, go forward. What the fuck was that? Was that a body? <laughs> you peas. What the fuck? Uh, continuing down the dark hallway, you stumble across a monstrous sight. The corpse of a man hangs from the wall, shackled to some kind of torture device. The machine has rotating gears that have ground the lower half of his body into a bulb. The machine of it makes your blood run... Sight of it makes your blood run cold. Something protrudes from the man at man's abdomen, but is lodged too deeply to make it out. The hallway continues straight. Well, how about you grab that thing? Yucky. You reach up into the corpse's abdomen and up through its chest cavity. As you do, bits of flesh and organs fall from the corpse and splatter onto the ground. Suppressing the urge to vomit, you finally grasp the object firmly and pull it out. It's a strange key made of bone. And the top of it, on the top, a skull has been carved. Skull key was added. Let's go back. What the hell? What? 
Back at the double doors, you walk up to them and they slam shut. You race to open them, but they are impervious to your efforts. The way back is impassable. Continuing down the dark hallway, you stumble across a mo Yeah, yeah, we already saw this. You reach the end. Okay. What if I do? Don't look behind me. Do look behind me. What the fuck? I didn't even use my flashlight during the way down to the thing. Oh, well, I guess there's no one. Uh, you reach the end of a hallway and find a large window. Iron bars cover the window, allowing no escape. You peer out, hoping to find some signs of life, but see nothing except for the moon. A gibbet cage is off to your left. Behind it, the path continues. Search the cage. Nothing was found. As we continue, we go left. After turning the corner, you come to a dead end. An enormous brazier sits between two pillars. Two metal rings rise from the top with wax candles attached all around. A gust blows past you, but its source is not apparent. How about we use the... How about we light the candles? Nothing. What? Church. When you inspect the brazier, you see that it is a crawl space concealed behind it. You drag the brazier while straining under its weight till it is out of the way. The crawl area appears to be narrow and dark, but spacious enough for you to fit in. Uh, sure. What could possibly go wrong? You go into the confined passage. Its cramped walls give you a claustrophobic feeling. Ahead, you can see the exit. Sure. Oh, jeez. That was glass breaking. Did he get in? It sounded like it came from downstairs. Cover art I painted for the book Tornado of Souls, written by J.L. Stein. Downstairs? Thick art, indeed. Uh. First television. Oh, window's broken. Well, guess I die. Why would you check this out? I don't understand. Uh, that's pretty cursed. I'm taking a screenshot. This maniac is toying with me. I have to board up this window. There's a hammer and some wood planks in the garage. This lady really be like, oh my God, he broke the window. Let me go outside to grab stuff to board up the window. No, she didn't do that. Quiote. You're so fucking dramatic, you know that? Daisy. Oh, come on. Don't do that shit. Such a drama queen, my guy. Climbing on the roof again? Didn't you have planks over here? Planks. Okay, planks and a hammer. You have you were prepared for this? Who has planks and a hammer lying around? I don't. You're insanely there, that deficient. I would board up all these windows if I had enough planks. I can only hope that he won't break in if I keep playing his game. Okay. How does he know? He detects my progress. He's connected to the matrix. You exit the crawl space and enter a chamber. A small table is to your right. On it are tiny candles and what looks like human bones. To your left is a small flight of stairs leading up to a gated room. The entryway is wide open. Let's search the candles. Uh, you search the room and approach the table. You spot some rope amidst the clutter. It might be handy, so you decide to take it. Rope was added. Let's go. Uh, continue on. A flat wooden bed is located inside the gated room. Chain links and iron cuffs hang from the wall. Foul smell of raw sewage is coming from a hole in the ground off to the left. Are you kidding me? Nothing was found. Are we going in the sewers? Use item. You secure the rope to the wooden bed with a bowline knot. I don't even know what that is, but good job. You paid attention when you were in the scouts. Uh, if you want to, you can now descend the sewer drain. Sewer drain. However, the smell is very uninviting. Sure thing. I'm not smelling it at least. This is not a 4D game. You lower the rope until you are at the tr drain's base. When you jump to the ground, you splash up into a layer of vicious sewage. You suddenly retch, starting to heave, and then ultimately throw up. You collect your composure and glance around, noticing a path in front of you. Jabez. You just take a photo of me? 
What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Insanely cursed. What? <laughs> That's super cursed. Oh, well, I uh, guess he could kill us if we want to. That's a good sign, though. That's actually a good sign because that means if he wanted to kill us, he would have already done it. So we're just like, we're kind of maybe trying to stay alive. Who knows? Sloshing through the sewage, you reach a corner. The path continues to your left. Uh, I'm not searching the sewers. I'm going. You enter a circular room. There's a stairway leading up. You spot a body floating in the sewage that is covered in black robes. It drifts up and down, its face only partially visible. It appears fixated on on you with its bright yellow eye. Well, how about we get that yellow eye? Oh, Jesus. Approaching the corpse with caution, you pu push to roll it over. As you do, it springs to life with a blood curdling shriek. It charges at you, slashing with claw like fingernails. You evade the initial strikes, but then you feel the intense burn of flesh being sliced open. It scurries back before vanishing up the steps. Excuse me. Just got murdered? You went. You're, you grab at your wound, remembering the creature that gave it to you. We're gonna- we're in- we're wounded in sewage? Get fucking infected and die? Begin- Daisy. Are you in this room? Why the blinky? Oh, you're in the fucking- my flash is not working. Are you in the closet? Hi. I can see you. Oh, jeez. The monster tore straight through the wall and dresser while I was downstairs. What the fuck? Whatever it is, it's not human. Sign the book. You, I love how quickly you accept that. You know how fucked up my brain would be? If if this shit would happen, I would be I'd be like I'm in, I'm dreaming I'm dreaming this isn't real. I'd never accept that there's a fucking basically basically an alien breaking into your house. Do we have to do anything or do we just continue? I'm typing. Um, you begin to ascend the stairs. As you move, blood begins to ooze from the wound that thing gave you. Torches. I shouldn't have talked to the lady. Um, torches light the stairway, but the top is pitch black. Here's the lighter. The lighter illuminates your surroundings. Startled, you step back as you are confronted by a wall of bones. You seem to be in a catacomb. You can see the trail continues to your left behind some cobwebs. Uh, search first though. Nothing was found. I guess we continue. You round the corner into a vast room. Four pillars enclose an enormous well, which can be reached by a short flight of stairs. The water in the well has a repulsive odor. The roof has a hole through which moonlight shines. A narrow passage is on the left. Skulls and bones carefully placed in a macabre pattern, pattern litter the small passage. At the very end, a brazier sits its flame, lit like a beacon. The dead end is... Look behind you. Hi. Um. I see you sitting there. What the fuck? God, I think I'm losing my mind. There we go. She's finally questioning her own sanity instead of being like, Nope, there's aliens now. I guess that's the thing we do now. Um, then in his reach, a pair of skeletons clad in black robes are lit by two braziers. From the earth, a golden statue of a hand rises. Its fingers are positioned as if they were holding something, yet it is empty. Do I have an item? I do not have an item. Can I search around? I do not have something to search. I guess I go back. And then I search here. Nothing was found. I go further back. I find it. I search again. You reach the guard rail. As you get closer to the well, you examine the water. You notice a spherical object that is glowing with hues of yellow and red. It's nearly... It nearly seems to be begging you to remove it from the slimy water. You begin to experience an unnatural yearning to grab it. List of commands. Just grab... As you reach for the strange orb, you just wait, you reach for the strange orb. Just as you do, the robed creature emerges from the depths. Its face twisted into a hideous grimace. It begins to raise its arms with the orb in hand, almost as if it was making an offering. Fixated on the orb, you are unable to stop yourself from snatching it. 
The creature slowly sinks back into the abyss. Strange orb was added to your inventory. Awesome. I love it. Uh, keep going. Just go forward and put the item in the... Wait, what? Put it in here? Use item? Place a strange orb in the golden hand. When you do, it sinks slightly into the ground. A rumbling begins and intensifies. A large room... A large round stone slab begins to rise for a brief moment dust and debris fills the air making it difficult to see when it settles you notice a new passage has been revealed traveling deeper into the catacombs you approach the pyramid shaped monuments all the way up they are ornamented with rows of skulls and bones a lone statue further back is followed by two more morbid monuments search the monuments nothing was found as we go forward you're right <laughs> What? I thought you were gonna jump me. What the fuck? My guy. I don't know how much more of this I can take. For, it's a, for suffering the night right now. Definitely suffering. Um, you arrive before a golden statue of a person wearing robes and holding an oval basin. The chamber is lit by a massive chandelier. Constructed of numerous bones, the path continues to the right. Search the thing. You examine the gleaming statue. The basin has writing engraved into it. It reads, blood is the bond. The blade is the key. An offering must be made. How about you use your bloody leg? No items were useful here. Search it. Search it again. I guess I can't search. I guess we go right. The spiral staircase is found when you turn the corner. Two steps are lit by light from above. Right and left, graves have been dug into the walls. Skulls and bones cover the wall behind the stairs. Search around. Nothing was found. All right, rip then. You climb the stairs and arrive at the top, searching your surroundings. You see a large passage to your right. To your left, a large candelabra made of bones. A balcony looking down on the golden statue is directly ahead. Uh, can we search first? Okay. Let's go continue onwards. You approach the passage and see that it is blocked by an iron... Iron, I think is how you supposed to pronounce iron gate. A wooden counterweight lever is mounted on the wall next to the gate. Uh, how about you touch that thing? You begin rotating the counterweight lever. The gate begins to rise. You continue until the passage is open. Now is it gonna stay down? Can we just go? Okay. I'm right behind you. Oh, you, you, you son of a sack of shit. Hey, at least he's not killing me yet. Was there someone down there? He was indeed right behind me. I mean, at least he's not lying. He did lie about not knowing about the floppy disk, though, so he's not to be trusted. At the end of the passage, you find a set of double doors. Light shines through the ga gaps of the doors. You press against them and notice they are unlocked. Go forward. You push through the doors open and find yourself in a familiar surroundings. A large fire pit lights the room, and you can see that you are back in the room with the skull chest. However, you are on the opposite side now, inside the iron cage. Uh, can we open the... Can we... No. We can't go forward, right? Search around, nothing was found. Can we go through? The gate of the iron cage is now unlocked, and you approach the skull chest. The doors on the right are still locked and won't budge. It would seem you have reached a dead end. How about you use that skull key you got? You turn the strange key after inserting it inside the skull's mouth. The chest is unlocked with a mechanical click. You discover a blade inside. You can see that it is covered in weird writing and symbols as it shimmers in the light. You feel yourself falling into a trance as you inspect it. It's absolutely beautiful. Strange dagger was added to your inventory. Oh, we're going back and stabbing ourselves now. Awesome. Uh, we go all the way back to the basin. Let's go back this thing. Uh, use item. You cut a gash in the... What? Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. What was that footstep? we're okay it must be getting so cold in this room with that thing open um 
Get a gash in the palm of your left hand with a peculiar blade. Jesus Christ. Squeeze the open wound. You extend your hand over the basin. The basin starts to accumulate blood. As it does, the sound of gears turning can be heard, but it's unclear where it's coming from. List of commands. Search. You search the area and... Is he fucking... He bringing something up to the roof? What's going on, man? I should close this door. What is happening? Oh. Uh, you search the area and try to locate the source of the sound. You notice a narrow path has appeared where a gravestone once stood. You force your way through and notice a staircase in the distance. As you get closer, close to the steps, you notice they are carved from fine marble. You hear the gear spinning once more. The gravestone reappears, blocking the way back. Well, I guess we're going forward. Climbing the steps, you enter a dark room. Dozens of lit candles are scattered all across the floor. Their light reflects of marbled floors and polished granite pillars. A chill suddenly shoots down your spine as the space is unsettlingly quiet. Has it not been quiet up till now? Moving further into the room, you find yourselves at its center. You can see a table and some dark shapes in the distance. But there was someone right behind me for a sec um you try to use the lighter you found but the fuel is spent your heart begins to race and you begin to experience an increasing sense of dread you walk up to the table a few candles and a solitary book with a quill are placed on top of it a figure in a black suit and top hat is seated behind the table its hands appear to be fitted with gloves that have knives attached to each finger its head is leaning sideways on the table and its face is expressionless they skeletons dressed in robes in various poses surround the figure. You search. You examine the book. Its cover features an odd symbol and is bound in leather. A stunning teal. A stunning teal feather is used to make the quill. It feeds into a nib with a complex engraving. The figure in the chair remains motionless. Open the book. The leather strap holding the book... Oh, God, his face. The leather strap holding the book closed is released. My legs are numb. I can't move them. I don't know what's going on. Well, I guess we're sitting here. The book flips open, and you hear the jarring crack of bones as the head of the figure slowly rises. You freeze in horror as it stares, comes face to face with yours. It starts to talk in a sinister voice. You finally arrived. It continues. You have completed all the trials. The key was taken. The orb was given. The blood offered. The game is nearly finished. The figure indicates the book while stating, There's only one thing left. When you put your name in the book, the game is over. You only need a quick signature to be set free, Stacy Leiden. Please sign and declare the game over. You examine the contents of the pages. On the left page is a symbol of a crescent moon along with a dagger. Other symbols and texts are in a language you don't comprehend are also present uh, there is a lengthy list of names on the right page each name is written with unique handwriting well guess we signed the book you take the quill and write stacy Lydon on the right page i got an achievement called cult classic what the fuck are we going into my own house now is this my house this what is the hell? That looks like my house. Um. Uh -oh. That sounded like it came from the attic. I attic? think that freaks inside. You have an attic? Also, your computer is fucking smoking. It feels like this is the attic. Excuse me? How is there an attic in this place? Hello? How do I get up to the attic? Or is the attic uh Is the attic a basement? No, attic is not a basement. Attic is upright. Am I crazy? Something the attic was up. How do I get up? There's no stairs in here. There are stairs in my room that I just missed? This looks like an attic. It's like the top of the top of the house. I guess we're going down to go up. You gotta lose money to spend money. Wait, what? 
gotta make spend money to make money. Um, where do I get to the attic? Excuse me. We got an attic ghost, please. Wait a minute. This is not the attic. This is the basement. I'm not going out there with a creep outside. Okay, yeah, I, me neither, but you gotta tell me what- Your layout makes no sense, lady. What's the layout of this building? Is there any other way to go? Is it- Oh, can I like pull something down and go through? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Of course, classic. I remember this is where the original game ended. I'm assuming we're just getting started. For the demo, I mean. Uh oh. That's an epic painting. Stacy. Ooh. <laughs> My flashlight is broken. Hello. Spider-Man. So busted. Oh. Oh! <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. I'm fucking dead. Excuse me. I was just trying to leave. The oh. The game is finished. Um. Fear not, Stacy. <laughs> Our story has just begun. Uh oh. You We're... and I will create a new game together. Well then, what's gonna happen now? I mean, so this is where the original. It was slightly different than the demo. It was more more fleshed out. Mm, my head. But this is it's where pounding. the demo ended. So now we're in completely new content territory. Where am I? How did I get here? Uh Objectives updated. Find a way to escape. What is this? Am I, in a, am I gonna be in a prison or like an escape situation like that? Oh. I'm pressing control to crouch. I'm not pressing C. You lied to me. Massive two. Thank you for the three months. Yeah, we are in a catacombs now, huh? What the hell is this place? A player? Save game? Resident Evil? I'm saving game. I did it. Our first save. Can I climb up here? I can. What? The? You climb fast, lady. Javis. So you you hold your head extremely close to the ladder. Did something just clip into... What the fuck? We're not dressed for the occasion, by the way. We must be... Very, very cold. Why was she wearing like that smell? It's disgusting. Glad I can't smell it. Glad video games haven't gone that far yet. Um. Oh! Are we gonna relive the story? Excuse me. Uh. Jesus. What is this? I think I'm gonna be sick. Use the scanner to interact with hidden objects and pathways. Objects that are hidden will out be outlined in purple. Equip scanner by pressing the spacebar or scroll wheel? What? What the hell? Is there a person here? What do I do? Oh. Matching code? Oh, I see. Interesting. <laughs> I'm helping him out to make his own game. Well, that's a cool mechanic. We are in the game now. Uh, this is a double door from before. Oh, uh, I need a key. I got a key. The spooky place. Oh. Hello, Stacy. <laughs> Welcome to my game. You son of a bitch, you lied to me. Yeah, I he did lie. Your game. You said you would leave me alone. Oh, Stacy. The devil's in the details. Oh my gosh. I said I would leave you alone if you finish my game. 
but I didn't say which game. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> you signed the book. You belong to me now. What the fuck? What sweet suffering I have in store for you. What an insane... Usually these people are like... Uh... They're like obsessed with justice and being fair. This guy's like fucked up Jigsaw. At least, I mean, I guess Jigsaw is also insanely fucked up. <laughs> tell me how to get out of here now. But at least he's usually, usually giving people a way out, albeit through very fucked up means. You bastard. Tell me how to get out of here now. You want to leave? <laughs> I don't think so. Goodbye for now. Well. Um, I wanted to, let me quickly see, turn off the brightness slightly, maybe? I don't think we can do that. Uh, gameplay. Right, okay, there's no brightness. I just wanted to make sure, because it's extremely dark, but there's no brightness setting, so never mind. I'm going to get a lighter, right? That's what happened in the, in the other game. I guess this thing is also very bright. Uh, wait, I'm going back. Hey, Daisy. Supposed to go this way. This is this incense burner? Very smoky. I guess it's real fire. What the heck are these torches? Not normal fire. Hidden, hidden object through the wall. Excuse me. Uh, I'm clipping in. I'm break. It's too dark to see. I should find some. It's not too dark to see. You can use the fucking. <laughs> Excuse me. What do you mean it's too dark to see? All right, well, I guess we use this. Scan mode, read mode. Oh, I need to use it. All right. Arrow cards, excuse me. You picked up the fool. Okay, I guess we're gonna... Gonna look around for some lights. Is there a hidden object here that I missed? Maybe we need to go all the way back. Uh, there's gotta be hidden objects, right? Can I just take one of these candles? Just take the candle, lady. Well, there was no other way to go, so I guess we're just going straight back. Oh! What the fuck? I don't- this feels weird to go all the way back, but I guess. Maybe it's gonna be different this time. I really don't see any other way to go. We can save the game, but we're not gonna die anyway, so why would I? I hear... Is that my legs? That's my legs. Why are you going so close to the ground? There's so much space above you. There's something secret back at the beginning. Why am I here? Why am I here every night just to suffer? Maybe I need to do read mode? What is read mode? Readable disc. And mode? Alright, I've been lied to. There's nothing here. All right, well, I guess we're going all the way back once again. Peace. Just use the damn scanner. Why did you give me the scanner if you're not going to use it as a light source? Silly, silly lady. Stupid. Silly goober. Hey, at least they... Oh, I need to send. They see you, dummy. I made a pretty neat ladder out of stone, though. That must have taken forever. Every time I climb up, it looks like there's a hand clipping in. What are you doing? Where are you going back again? Okay. Well, can we take one of these torches? I guess it's stuck to the wall. Can't take that. All right. Let, uh, I guess we look in the hallway here. I was maybe we can use the fool card. There's nothing else, right? I mean, there's that thing clipping through the wall. It's over here. Oh, we break the lid. We did the did. What the fuck? Okay. We used the antique lighter. I remember, we did that as well in the in the video game. Of course, we are retracing our steps. Knew we were gonna get a lighter. What the fuck is this? Oh, that is squishy. I am complete in my four limbs. Two arms look within for strength. Two legs extend outwards, forcing me forward. Only then... Will you be blessed by my hand? Oh, there's something here. My left leg? Looks something fits here. Oh, I need a leg? What the fuck? 
Okay, well, I guess we're gonna need body parts. It looks like something fits here. Okay, that's what she said. Intestines, yummy, yummy. Let's, I can see through the wall with this. Excuse me? You see that? Kind of amnesia-ish, yes. This looks like a door. This looks like a secret door if I put some shit in here. Well, I guess this is the door. Dude, this door's fancy as hell. You're holding- I like that you're holding the lighter while you can hold this. That's nice. I appreciate it. Okay, this is secret. Hidden object found. Also, your thumb looks insane, by the way. See the thumb of this lady? How to burn your hair. Yeah, this is definitely like we're in the game now i wonder where they're gonna go with this i wonder how we're gonna get out there better be a oh what's this a, not, a floppy disk within a floppy disk excuse me floppy -ception. Sarah there and thank you for the 17. what is this flopception She's a very... You are a slow crawler, lady. So basically licking the floor for some reason. That's where we came from. No, that's where we came from. This. Uh, it looks like something fits here. Okay. And save our game. It's, I can't see this thing at all. Just read... Oh, read mode! You check the disc. Yeah. Ada Brooke. What? Each Sephiroth. version of his game begins similarly, but diverges greatly. Your rendition of his game tells the tale of his most recent victim. I discovered hints that the next iteration of the game was being written using my story. So many victims. So many stories. How many versions of the game came before me? Great voice acting, by the way. Okay. You already saved. There's a missing head. No head. Doctor Wolf, his head is missing. Long, empty hallways. This thing. Oh. Uh, run! It's about to fall apart. Oh shit! That was a close one. <laughs> Could I have actually died there? Probably. I wonder. That would have been a that would have been a boring ending. The guy would have been very disappointed if that's how I died. Yeah, Stacy is having a great time. Stacy's actually chill. Stacy's like Conrad. Stacy and Conrad should get along. We're gonna be playing Conrad. Conrad Stevens has got a new update that we're gonna be playing soon. I was just a little too tired today to... Oh, yeah. Crawl into the creepy hole. God, what are you doing, Stacy? What the hell? This, this is not how you talk to yourself in a situation like this. You'd be shaken. Um, I was a little too tired to deal with all the pages of lore they've added to the game. It's crazy how much stuff is in the game. What the fuck is that? Also spider webs, yummy. At least there's not big spiders. At least yet. One chasing me. For belunking. Uh this led to absolutely nothing. Let me guess there's gonna be a hidden object here. Uh there's a person. Dude, look at that thumb. Oh what the fuck? How did that even happen? Kind of impressed. Oh. <laughs> Ex Excuse me? Combat? This is. She finally decides to fight back, huh? Before. She was like, nah, nah, I have a hammer. I don't care. We're not using the hammer. Like, you could have at least. You could have at least hit him in the face a few times. Oh. Oh, the uh, things just disappeared. Guess we're following the other creepy crawler. Do not like this. Bob webs at all. Not a fan. I think we've spent like half the game crawling so far. 
This is a crawl heavy game. Crawling is a major game mechanic. Like you got, you gotta be claustrophobic. Crawl simulator. Um, I'm not doing anything. Your descent into depravity is just beginning, Stacy. The various remains of previous victims are all around you. Down here, nothing goes to waste. How much flesh will you obliterate in your quest for freedom? Are you is are you gonna like be like, oh my god, you What the fuck? Wasn't there a key in this? Pick the body part oh we need What the fuck? We need body parts to... Oh, whoops. Or so. This is fucked. What do I have? <laughs> this is not in my inventory. Did I pick up everything? Am I gonna put it all in the fucking blender? It's res It resembles a sizable shredder for shredding wood. Well, I guess we're putting... All the body parts in there, huh? Can I not? How do I... Oh, this. What is this? Wait, is that a hidden object? There we go. Oh, another card. The magician. Is this? Are we collecting? Is this for the true ending? Um, are there more body parts that I need before I can interact with the grinder? I'm not sure. Oh, there's another head. Now we can do the. Now we can do the grinder. Let me guess. Never mind. Turn it on. Yeah. But oh, Jabus! That is shiny blood. Oh boy. And then he's gonna be like, "You really did that?" This guy better not start being like, "Oh my god, you're so fucked up for doing this." <laughs> That's the shiniest freaking strawberry jam I've ever seen. I feel like this would not explode in this much blood. I feel like this would do barely barely anything. I wonder what it... It would be fucking disgusting. Jesus Christ. Be done yet? There we go. Here, I've, I've done your sick game. Oh, we save again. Oh. A fool! We can open this now? Aha, uh -huh, we get more stuff. Picked up the developer disc. Excuse me. Today, I embark on my game development journey. I decided to take the plunge and develop a game. What? I'm still figuring out the scope of the game, but I know I want to have advanced artificial intelligence. I really enjoyed playing dungeon crawler games lately. Maybe I can mix that in. Okay, this is the real developer. We're now the developer of the game within the game is talking to us in the game within the game. It's getting far too meta. GJ voice acting confirmed. It's, we're crawling again. If we die while crawling, that'd be the most fitting end for this lady. Also, that looks like an insane contraption. Uh, sorry, I'm going to hit you with a crowbar if you don't mind. Probably do mind, but I don't care. I shouldn't get too close. What I hit you instead. I can't get close? What the fuck? You don't even have arms, dude. How is he gonna kill me? He doesn't even have any arms. This guy sucks. No arms? Lol. I guess I'm going this way. What am I doing? I shouldn't get too close. Why not? What's he gonna do? Fucking kill him with the <laughs> kill him with the crowbar. <laughs> There's something behind there. I can see through the wall. All right. Well, guess we're not doing that. Sounds are very gross. Yes. You will nibble on my ankles. What's this? It looks like box controls this trap. It's missing a lever. Are you kidding me? You can just climb over this, or climb through it. Honestly. All right. We need a lever. Uh, creepy guy. You got a lever for me? Is that a lever right there on the ground this thing can we use this as a makeshift lever you got a lever for me thank you bye 
Continue eating. Bon appetit, as they say in France. Ever me. Yes. Oh, Jesus. He can't do shit. Oh, is he going to be crushed? You can just kill him. What's he going to do? Fucking eat shit, dumbass. What is he? Why? Why, lady? You fucking useless piece of shit. Just hit him and kill this guy. He's got teeth. He doesn't even have a... Oh my god, you piece. This is actually insanely stupid. That's insanely dumb. <laughs> Why give me a crowbar if you're... What? <laughs> what is going on, dude? <laughs> Why, why have the crowbar have a, like, at least don't give the crowbar a swing animation if you're going to do that. That's so dumb. All right. Well, yes, we are. What? Oh, we go, we go through here. Yeah, of course. I want this though. Yes. Thank you. Okay. We're going back to crawling. Can I light these by the way? Oh my God. So detailed. Light them all. Maybe it's an achievement. All right. Let's, uh, the guy is invincible. It's, they should have gave, really given him arms if they wanted me to be scared of this guy. Because I am not. I'm the opposite of scared of this guy with no arms. What's, like, literally, what's he gonna do? Just stab him with the sharp end of the crowbar and he's fucking dead. Alright, we gotta run. Go! There's no. What if we? What if we crush him with the thing? Oh, we need to use the crowbar here, though. He's coming! Oh lord, he's coming! I I can't hit him here, so we gotta run. Oh, did he just get fucking dead? Is that one of the previous victims? What happened to his arms? Oh, we can save again. So many save stations. I don't even know what the fuck that. <laughs> Rip the magician. Nice. We've been getting all of them. Developer disc number two. I got to work on my dungeon crawler's design. It should be enormous and dynamic. Unfortunately, I won't be able to fully develop the universe I want to due to the current constraints of storage media like floppy disks. My artificial intelligence is the same. Simply said, the technology isn't ready yet. There must be another method for me to achieve my goal. Uh, like creating fucking Cthulhu monsters? Is that what you're doing here? I had all the things. I need to look around because I want to find these all these tarot cards. Get all the secrets. They're kind of- they're so sneaky. Let's see shit over here. Patch it in. Dude, I have to patch your game so much, it's barely functioning. Pick the cursed disc. Kenneth Gray, number two. That what? freak with the knives for fingers has set up all kinds of puzzles down here just to toy with us. He gives us just enough hope to carry on. I've tried to preserve, but I'm getting weaker and weaker. I don't want to end up like one of these creatures down here. There's got to be a way back to the real world, damn it. Jesus, how did you record that? Another tarot card. Oh, there's stuff over here. What is this room? Oh. Well, well, well. I am impressed that you're still alive, Stacy. Yeah, the yeah, well, I ain't gonna die down here, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the spirit. It's fucking interactions between the them are so ridiculous. It makes their suffering so much more delightful. I won't give up hope. I refuse to end up like the rest down here. Good. Because I'm special. I'm God. the main character. Speaking of hope, you've come this far. Perhaps a gift is in order. A weapon to help you along your way. Fine. Did, like the crowbar I got? Down here. If you can solve my little puzzle, the weapon is yours. What? Solve the little puzzle. I see cables. Oh my god. Uh, Tricom E exit. 
<clears throat> nuke around first? What's this? Oh, I'm patching. That doesn't do anything. There was another thing over here, yes. Dude, so much patching. It is the... Oh! Ah, uh -huh, I see. Is there more like that? Oh, well, that was easy. Okay, now we just need to align that somehow. How do we do that? How do I switch gear? Tab? Oh, I like the. Okay, I see. And then rotate is just clicking. Okay, we need to... Gonna... That is fine. What is that one? It's this one. Oh, it's gotta be in the middle, of course. I'm stupid. I was putting it onto the side. Whoops. I was putting it on... I thought we were gonna, like, have both of them, uh, but we are doing... We're stacking them. We're stacking. I need a hand. This is not even a puzzle. This is just a participation trophy. Sun at the top. That's not a sun. That's a big sun. Uh, did I go past it? What? Where's the sun? Is this the sun? Oh, it's rotated. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's rotated. It's, it's... Why is it the other direction? Excuse me. Okay, this is... I guess it's fine. And then this has got to be... This, this thing. This one's already good. No, it's not good. It's got to be this one. And then this one... This. I did it. Nothing happened. Are you fucking kidding me? Do I have to... What? How is this not the right combination? The, oh, the red... No, the red one's... This is not fine? Is that not the same? Oh, it's the sun! It's this one. Yes. I see. Wait, wait. I didn't even see there was a gun in there. Bullets? Oh. Two piece. <laughs> what is happening? What is... Is this Resident Evil now? This game has gone off the rails. What if you just don't do this? Can I go back and shoot that guy? Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought that was a monster. What the fuck? Oh, there's a monster. Right. This is absolutely fucking insane. What is happening, brother? Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we have a gun now. Guess that's something we do now. I I, can, I need to look for tarot cards because there's got to be one for sure. Oh, shiny, shiny. What the fuck, brother? What is this fucking forewarned now? Run. Something here. Oh, it's in there. Fuck. Woo! <laughs> what the fuck? I hate it here. <laughs> hey, you gave me an autosave though, didn't you? No, you didn't, you sack of shit! Why have a save system? You're trying so hard to be Resident Evil. Why don't you try to be your own thing? You peas? I have to do the fucking puzzle again, you s you bitch! Oh my god, I'm gonna become the Joker. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Can I just not have the gun? If I open this, I die. I need to have the gun. Fuck me. Why didn't you put a save? I'm gonna. I'm gonna lose my mind. This game is doing fucking IRL psychic damage. Super effective. All right, click these buttons. All right, uh, here we go again. You know the drill. Clickety, clickety, click. Uh, this one has big, big moon. This one. Not that one. Why, why even have this puzzle? Big sun? This is not the right sun, right? No, it needs to be a sun with an eyeball in it. Yes, that one. 
And then this one needs to be triangles. Okay, I need to find a save station after this. Here we go. Thank you for the gun. Now we go back and save, I guess. I guess. This is the way it's gonna be. Save me. Should have killed that guy first, probably, but whatever. When you're making a game, at any point, I think it's a really good idea, like a really good rule of game design. Whenever you implement a mechanic, it's is asking yourself, what purpose does this serve for my game? What is it? What, what, do, what are the goals? Like make a list of what the goals are of things you want your game to do. Like what kind of atmosphere you want it to have, what kind of, um, what kind of genre you want it to be, etc., etc. And then, like every time you introduce a mechanic, you need to like write down what purpose it serves for the greater scheme of things. Because in this situation, I don't see what the saving does for your game. Like I don't see why you would have a save system it's only going to create frustration and repet repetition. I don't understand it. All right. Well, at least we can do this now. It took so many bullets to kill that guy. Yeah. Uh, I want this thing. Can I just save the damn game here, please? Well, guess we're going to have to shoot that guy again. It's an instant kill, by the way. Oh, bye. And the middle here. Fucking sucks. Wait, am I not supposed to be here? Yes. What is this? Hero 9, thank you for the six months. Oh. I throw them off! Get fucked! Wait, I could have easily gone past that, excuse me. Oh. The hermit! I don't have the hermit! What? Okay, at least we can save here. Let's go. Anina, thank you for the 19 months. Okay, I need to find the hermit card. No hermit. The worst card. The further along. Or is it further back? Wait, there was a crawly space right over here that we didn't go to. Go to the crawly. No Kermit. Or Hermitless. Go to the crawly space. This one. I'm calling you right now. There's going to be something back here. Uh, have we Was this where we got Eden? Hermit. Oh, hi there. You're going to have the Hermit cart. You're going to have... Another cursed freaking disc. Ada Brook. This place is riddled with traps. I was almost sliced in half by one of them. All these traps have hidden switches that deactivate them. See. Use this device to reveal them. This device I have found seems to be something that was created to help us. Perhaps save us. I found more discs that seem to indicate that the maker of this device is the game's original creator. Perhaps, as a result, the monster has no control over it. This? Hey, where's the hermit, though? Any hermits? No Kermit? Hermitless? I tried... The walking Dead Saints and Sinners? No? A DLC. Okay, there's gotta be something around here. Just quickly check. I don't give too much of a fuck. But if it's like literally right here, I might as well just quickly grab it. Gotta be around here, right? How far back is the freaking hermit card? That, that was the previous one. Did I not go this way? Alright, fuck your cards. Check them up your ass. If it's not a hanged man card, I don't care. I'm moving on. Oh wait, was this? Never mind. I found it. <laughs> Never mind. I found it. There you go. Hermit card. We did it. Honestly, you could just use this view for everything. It's pretty clear. Way clearer than this. Now we can open this. Hermit. What's this? Aha! This is actually Resident Evil. Uh, picked up developer disc. Number three. I've been sequestered for months in an effort to decrease the size of my game. I was making a little progress, so I began searching for an alternative programming language. I dug and dug and found an obscure, esoteric language called Leviathan. About it, 
Not much is known, but from what I understand, its inventor, Dante Lamento, said its potential was endless. The only issue is that Dante disappeared without a trace not long after publishing the language. Oh. I was trying to scroll down. Right, I'm saving. It's Resident Evil Remake 2. Run. Get me out of here. Escape this cursed place. Look around. I want to figure out the story, at least. Oh, what's this? Excuse me? Is this the orb? What just happened? What did I just do? Did something just drop back here? What? What, the, what does this button even do? Doesn't do anything? Doesn't do anything. Am I gonna fall here? Is this gonna fall apart again? Uh, wheels. As it's southwest, northwest. I see. Oh, Jesus! This is fucking insane. <laughs> Why is there a gun? Why is there a gun and so much jelly? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. What do I do with this? Oh, I click it. I see. Oh, I gotta set it to the right things. Look around. This is very interesting, though. Um. Oh. Uh. Wait. Oh, I need to do the color. I see. I see. I see. North. West. Where are you coming from? At least these guys die in one shot, right? You're dead. You're done for. Where are they coming from? Or maybe they're standing up. We need to do this fast. Okay. Uh, red is southwest. Where's red? Red. Uh, boof, boof. Southwest. And we have this one is northeast. Oh, I, I moved past it. Oops. Northeast. These, these are actual participation trophy puzzles. These are some of the easiest puzzles I've ever seen in any video game. Uh, southeast. Unless this is not the answer. Uh, which would make no sense. Northwest. Did I already do this one? Northwest. Okay, go. I've done it. I'm insane with it. What is this? Picked up Serpent Crest. I needed to do that. I couldn't even move on. There, there's got to be a tarot card in here, right? For sure. There has to be. I know you, you secret game. You sneaky. Games remind me of... Reminds you of Amnesia minus the gun. I've only played one Amnesia ever. Oh, what's going on? Congratulations, Stacy. You have completed the first trial of my game. Very few make it this far. Don't you have anything better to do <laughs> than annoy me? But I'm oh. just getting started. Oops, I skipped it. Probably Everything not important. Until this point was just a taste of what I have in store for you, Stacy. Go to hell, you freak. <laughs> Go to hell, you freak. <laughs> She says while being stuck in a... In a... What the hell? Oh! Thank you for the left arm. Stuck in some weirdo catacombs. You're like in a fucking Dark Souls dungeon right now, excuse me. Okay, here, here. Put it in here. Yes, I'm insane with it. And put this on here. Are you fucking... This is Magnum ammo? I'm gonna lose my mind. This game is trying so hard to be Resident Evil, it's it's insane. What the fuck? That's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> Excuse me. This is this is not okay. Yaki baki. Very very squishy. This is the squishy room. Not squishy though. Oh, more teeth. Like a fun house. What the hell was that tunnel? Ah, uh, excuse me? We're in circus. It is 
the fun house. <laughs> what? Fucking called it. Excuse me. What was this? Arrow card. Let's go. What is this? Wheel of Fortune. Hopefully it's green. What's this? Comes with an eagle. Its wings are missing. Okay, we need the wings. I mean, we might have already had to have. Please insert one token for admission onto the ride. I don't have a token. Can I find it somewhere? What's this? Hatching? Uh, is that blood? Is this a fucking bouncy castle? Bloody bouncy castle? I love this orange color, by the way. That's very neat. Hello there. What's this game called? It's called Suffer the Game. I mean, Suffer the Night. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, we got a token. We did it. Thank you. Enjoy the ride. Okay, what's what's gonna happen? This better be ridiculous and crazy. This is, this is cool though. What the hell? A roller coaster? <laughs> is this your idea? Fun yes, psycho. Out? What the hell? Oh, welcome, Stacy. The service may not be much, but the rides are to die for. <laughs> Wee! Wee! <laughs> oh, baby. I love it here. Let's go. Oh, that was it. Better go crazy. I can exit. I can't exit the ride while it's moving. Have you? Can you try though? Why not? Sawtooth. Now we can exit. What the hell is this going to be? A boss fight? We got this card, Wheel of Fortune, and we get new ammo, shotgun ammo. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Listen to the tape. I finally found a simple program written in Leviathan. When compiled, it prints out a message from Dante Lamento. For those who seek answers to questions unanswered, problems unsolved, and pleasures unknown, my gift to you, Leviathan, will give you your heart's desire. This application contains a complete library of syntax that may be used once I have access to the source code. Okay. <clears throat> That's kind of a cool idea though Crazy programming language And it's like in an old timey So they had to like Go past limitations You need a key, some kind of key Because there wasn't enough storage yet It's it's old timey, you don't have like a fucking 100 terabyte USB Like I don't know it, Stuff is crazy nowadays You can have so much storage Dude. I have such pleasures to oh show Oh my god. Someone's watched a few too many movies. <laughs> is there a button to turn it off? It is. I need to patch this. No, I can't patch this one. Fucking one. My brother in Christ. Almost tanked it. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I need to turn it off first before I get the tarot card. Press the button to turn it off. They said that it was always. Oh, there. I have such pleasures to show you. No! Someone's gonna lose my mind, dude. You are dead. <laughs> What the? Oh god. Oh god. I ought to add that my whole game fucked. It's a safe spot in between. Maybe there's a way to get through this. Okay. Okay. I have such Can I stand over here? Someone's watching. I can't stand over here. Okay, let's go. 
and then turn it off. Oh, there you go. And we get the tarot card. I feel like I could have gotten this if I was slightly faster. Boom. The Emperor. It's like freaking sco like soft stuff and then saw blades this is such a juxtaposition. Oh. Are these fucking saw blades flying through? Hey, how about you get wrecked by your own saw blade, dumbass? That's right, idiot. Oh, you're not taking much damage. Hi. What? Sir? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. Bro. Okay, I need to turn this off somehow. Go. Oh, this. Turn it off. Let's turn it off. What? There's more buttons. What? Ow. Am I making it go faster? It won't budge. What exactly am I doing? I'm just gonna run. It, it doesn't matter because I can take. I can take. Like I slowly recover health. Here. Oh, this. I've done it. Now, there's five of them. Can I do it now? What the fuck? This one. Did I do this one? Did I not do this one before? I'm guessing I didn't. Now I should have done it. That was five levers, right? What the fuck? Oh, I need to do them in a specific order. I hate it here. Can I turn these traps off somehow? How do I turn this off? Okay. Uh, pink first. Oh my god. Pink first, blue second. Let's see. All right, here we go. Pink. Pink. Pink first. Blue second. Yellow third. Where's blue? Ow, my face. That's green. Where's blue? Blue all the way to the start. I should have truly called this suffer the game. <laughs> that would have been more fitting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is fucked. Oh my God, we're back here. I'm done with this game. This game is fucking terrible. I was trying to like see if it was going to get better. It is just the, one of the worst games I've ever played. Let's move on to something else. <laughs> this is actually so bad. All right, we're trying out this game. Um, I've had a, it's, I think I have to use Discord for this game. It's called Sparky Marky. It is, and it, it, you know, it's a new uh, wannabe, uh, uh, what do you call it? A mascot horror game. That's what they call it nowadays. Uh, but apparently this one's actually good. So let's try it out. Uh, new horror games sparky marky <laughs> that's the name of the game sparky marky oh it's actually on twitch Dude, look at that no it was an itch game uh this game requires discord server as a supporting tool please join yeah i, I i'm in the discord server continue i've done it i've done this already let me continue the game please play all right well, let's go say hi youtube 
Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Sparky Marky. This is the newest wannabe mascot horror game, but apparently I heard that this one is actually really good. Mascot horror can be a hit or miss. Uh, we've seen uh, Garden of Bonbon recently, which has absolutely flopped. Haven't played them because apparently they were extremely bad. But this one, however, looks really cool. I like the mascot in this one a lot. Uh, and apparently it's a fun game. So we're gonna check it out. I hope you join us. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, just like it, but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go Alrighty. oh hello there we're immediately in are we a child we can see our own legs what the fuck did it really just booted up the game when i press shift i stop running that's that's an interesting choice of of input um now i know the one there's a really unique thing about this game that you have to use Discord to actually complete it, which I am in their Discord server, so I should be able to complete it. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm just gonna follow the cable. This, what are these? Are these like little rides? Don't understand. Follow the the colory cable. What? There's a lot of electricity pulls. Roof. Oh. Are you Sparky Marky? I think you are. From the from the things I've seen about this game, you're gonna be very creepy. We have a flash. Oh, we do have a flashlight. All right, where do we go? Do we follow yellow or pink? We're following yellow. Oh, never mind. Uh, pink doesn't even. We can't even go there. I guess we're following yellow. It's so weird that when you press shift, you stop running. I want to press shift. That's going to fuck me over. If we're going to be chased at any point. Press shift to not run. Someone stole all the sparky marky juice. Excuse me. How am I going to survive? Stardew Valley controls. Is that how you move in Stardew Valley? I haven't played it in so long. We go, what are we going in? Th There's got to be a toy factory, right? If I, I played enough mascot horror games to know that you're gonna go into a cursed toy factory, because that's one way to get merch out there. But maybe not. There's another really cool mascot horror game. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but it was like kind of like a Resident Evil like mascot horror game, and the twist was. What the fuck! I hear whispering. I see you. See him. He's laying on the ground. And the twist what the, was that all the enemies in that game tell you, like... Kind of like Baldi's Basics, where they tell you, uh... Educational... Stuff. But then they also try to murder you. Am I just going in a circle until I reach the middle? Maraka, thank you for the 24. Uh... You look a little cursed. You were standing up just a second ago, excuse me. Sparky Marky. Ass. <laughs> Excuse me. Touch it. Touch it! Touch it! Oh. Excuse me, where did he go? Wow. Please, please stop. Oh, I gotta run. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, that means we... Oh, the lights. Look at those lights. Is it just the same guy over and over again? He did... He has every job in the world. He's also Superman. Super Sparky. We go into this room now. This open. This does... Maybe? I need red key card. Why are you fishing the door? Going further back. Um, what? Back to the Sparky Marky. What's this? Yeah, can we go to the yellow door now? Is this gonna open? I would say so. Imagine being spaced, chased by that guy. I know he has a secret hiding inside of him. That you don't want to learn about. 
I like the way they started it. Just like boot you in. Just do some silly shit and then get out. Uh, am I going back? What's the what? Wait, what? Everything is turned on now, though. Oh, is this? Can I get in through this? I can. Can I jump? I can jump, which means I can jump over this. Aha! I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but I did it. Got tased. A wall hacked. Can I get in here? How do I get out now? Am I fucked? Made a grave mistake. Can I go around? Uh, uh oh. I may or may not have just broken the video game. Can I jump back out again? Um. Uh oh. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to do that! Fuck! <laughs> I broke it! I don't think I can get out again. This is why you don't give me a jump. Can I jump up here? Can I somehow get out? Dude, I can make this if you just let me jump here. What are you doing? Why are you fucking teabagging in the wall? You weirdo kid. Dude, he's making it. You can get over! Dude. Yes, 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 yes. Get up, get up, get up. I hit it here! I think I actually broke it. Well, fuck me then. Guess we're restarting. How do I get out of here? Uh... Get me out. Found... Finded Discord commands? Zero out of 17? Excuse me? What? I guess we redo that? Dude, what are the games today? <laughs> yes, continue. I No, I already got it in your Discord. Shut up. Yes, play the game. Okay, we go back to the thing. Discord cheat sheet. Hey, can, I, can I have like a fly command? Exclamation mark fly? Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to go there yet, but I... Why did they set up a perfect staircase to go there? That's asking for people like me to just jump in there. Miss Rababa, thank you for the three months. You know, you know that's gonna go wrong. Are we shortcut? Can't go shortcut. I'm fucking. I'm fucking stuck. I hate it here. <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Get maybe later. Get me in the game. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no more Sparky. What the hell is going on, dude? This is not the game's fault. This is a skill issue. Yes, it is. And you're tired and everything just has to go wrong. Hey, that was not my fault. I literally just walked into a soft block. Like, how is that even possible? I didn't do anything too crazy. Look at this shortcut. Look at this line. Look at this speed run. Speed run world record incoming. I don't care about you. Sparky's fault. Exactly. Hey, this is making me appreciate good horror games. This is one way to learn to be grateful about all the good horror games I've played in my time. Can you play stinky horror games? Will we finish the game? Yeah, well, can we finish any game today? That's the challenge. Finish a horror game made in 2023. Challenge difficulty level impossible. I'm genuinely so surprised about 
suffer the night though that the demo was so good i can't believe how bland and generic of a game that became that's actually insane Is oh, come on. Yes. Okay, now where do we go? We've. Oh! Monster? Exclamation mark monster? Is that a command? What? When did they, why didn't they show it up last time? Okay, let me go into Discord. So then I go over to their Discord. Let me see. I need to test this out. Go over to their Discord. And then I go into the Suzy commands and then I do exclamation mark monster. What's this do? You can't send me private messages. You can though. What? Attention. What? Attention authorized personnel. Please note, never use this term in official requests or correspondence. It's a fucking, what? It is a QR code. Look at this. What is happening? The QR code. It's a QR code monster. I have to scan the QR code. Can my phone even scan QR codes? Where even is my phone? Can you guys scan it? What does this do? Scan it. What does this give you? I don't know what. I don't have a phone that can scan this shit. What does it do? Is it gonna recall you? It better recall you. Take care of my malware. Nice tab. Tabs. Yes. What does it do? We're not scanning that. All right. Fun gimmick, but I don't like the game. I'm out of here. Bye. Next game. Next game. We tried. Uh, what's the next game? We tried our best. It's a virus. It do be a virus. We tried. Uh, let me look. What's the next game we're checking out? <clears throat> oh yes 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 uh do i this one the possession experiment which i think also came out recently my pc is being protected from a virus just run the virus man at this point a virus is going to be more entertaining than whatever fuck shit we have played up till now <laughs> all right here we go P the possession experiment new game the Possession experiment. I can't type. Experimental. Hopefully, this is not gonna. The possession. Ex this does not exist. Games plus demos. Games plus demos. Here we go. Oh, it almost crashed the stream, but it's okay. Uh, this is not. Begin experiment. I would like to. How do I get in here? What the fuck? F. Uh, what the hell is this insano resolution? This isn't even the resolution though. Excuse me, can I alt enter it? I can alt enter it. Let's go. Okay. Uh, return me. Okay, let's just hop in and we'll see. Well, because I'm not going to do intros if all the games are going to be shit anyway. Uh, we'll just try it out and then if it's fun, we'll do it after the fact. <clears throat> let's go. Begin experiment. Begin me. You are a scientist with Demcor- with Demcorp, an organization dedicated to experimenting with paranormal. You work in Base 75, their top secret underground bunker, testing human possession. One day an entity has escaped containment. The normal safety measure, a device referred to as an EMP device, is not functioning. The facility is in lockdown, most of the staff is dead, and you're stuck in the control room with no connection to the outside world. You must get out! Fix the EMP device to neutralize the entity and get to the elevator before the EMP device runs out of power. You're stuck in the control room, so you must use the subjects of your possession experiment to escape. Interesting. Oh. Look around. We're, f we're Five Nights in Freddying. Uh, hints and tips. The game has no checkpoints or safe systems. Amazing. Uh, test sub a test subject gets killed. If a sub test subject gets killed, they are dead for good. If all three die, then it's game over. Some items are randomly located between playthroughs. Zoom in the map to see camera names and locations. Room numbers on the map will glitch when the entity is in said room. Each test subject can only carry three inventory items and one weapon at a time. 
Manually use items and reload weapons through the inventory. Weapons can't kill the entity, but dealing enough damage will ward it off for a while. Too much information all at once. My brain is overloaded. Uh, I'm in the game. I'm possessing. I'm possessing people. Possessing subjects. What the fuck? It's a guy from Phasmo? It's a fucking Phasmo characters. I've trained for this moment. What the fuck? Okay, what am I doing? I'm opening your door. What do I do? Move? Oh, I'm walking. I'm walking here. I am controlling them. Excuse me. What the hell? This is cool. We're not assigned to the subject. Uh, is this an item? Pistol ammo obtained. This is interesting. What's this? Looks like a shotgun. Knife obtained. Can I stab? What the? <laughs> okay. Uh, there's something over here. What's this? Pistol ammo. Is this taking up a slot? This is just stacking. Okay. Where am I even going? There's more pistol ammo. Room key. Okay. Am I going to be killed? Where's the... Where's the entity? Journal on the... What is this? A weapon? Inventory full. How? Oh, it's a... It's, it's probably another weapon. I mean, we already got a weapon. We can slice them, right? We'll be fine. Journal on entities. In past studies, we have discovered that entities take on two different forms. One being a gas-like form and other being a more solid-like form. And they can switch between the two forms at will. Of course, both forms contain their advantages and disadvantages. In its gas-like form, entities are almost completely invisible. And they can pretty much th travel through small areas such as vents or pipe system systems during this form entities can't be harmed but at the same time they can't harm us also their interactions with the physical objects are very small basically any object that can be affected by a gust or wind oh my god it's so much information in its solid like form entities are unable to travel through small spaces however in a solid form entities are more than capable of causing physical harm to us and they have more interaction with physical objects yet despite these entities can be harmed as well in this form while entities cannot be killed, they still retain some animal instinct when it comes to danger. If the entity gets harmed enough, enough to kill a living human, the entity will instantly change to its gas-like form and leave the area. However, the entity will eventually change back to its solid form and continue what it was originally doing. But even though you can't kill an entity, the fact of the matter is running away from it isn't the only option. So if you're in a situation where you are confronted by an entity with nowhere to run, grab a weapon and fight back. It can be enough to warn the entity off and give you enough time to get away. Okay. I see. What's this? First aid kit obtained. This is very interesting. You need to go to room... Where are you right now? You need to go to room 11. I can't... I can still move. Because we have a key, right? We have a key and a first aid kit. Okay. Can I, like, control a different subject? Oh! What? <laughs> This is cool. I'm like moving. I'm controlling three people at the same time. What? What the hell is going on? Oh, we're going to different rooms, but it looks the exact same. Uh, I'm lost in the sauce. Completely, utterly. Oh, a gun! Drop this. Drop this weapon. How do I drop? Drop item with R. Dude. Wait, can I not pick up the gun? What is this? How's the inventory full? All right, we're dropping the... We're dropping this. Let's first move a little back. Drop it. And I'll drop it. Drop it. And then what's this? Oh! 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 Help! My God! He's crazy! Run! I don't have a first aid kit anymore. I hate it here. Uh, please go back. Please drop this. What's going on? Can I get the... Is he still in here? Ah! Oh, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> he got eliminated. Okay. Rip that guy. Wait. Oh, hi. Um, you can't come in here, right? Wait. What? What's going on? Can I move these guys out of here? Are you stuck? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Well, we lost all our items. Go, go, go. Dude, we can go so fast. Okay. Let's go into R2. 
R6. Oh, this is room, of course. It's R for room. I thought it was different rooms. Okay, um... We're, we're back here. What is, what is this? Is this a weapon? It is a weapon. Okay, that... I can absolutely demolish him with this. Look at this thing. Holy shit. I'm gonna get smacked! Dude, get fucked up, man! Absolutely wrecked. This guy is crazy. Old man number two. You're insane with it. What is this? Is that a bandage? Shotgun ammo obtained. Room one. More shotgun ammo? Maybe we can find a shot. Hi. Um. <laughs> Excuse me. This is amazing. This is terrifying though. <laughs> what the fuck? Need the EMP device to open the elevator. Okay. What is this? Room key six. Okay. Where do we go? Okay, we need to run. We're at room 11. Oh God, this is a disaster. Room eight, just keep moving. Oh no, we're being chased. Room 13, this is good. We need to go across the room two. Yes, and then we need to go into room six. Because we have the key. It needs an access card. Don't we have this? What, I just all tabbed. What happened? Use it. Use the item. There we go, we did it. Okay, what's this? What is the purpose of this? Name Zoe Winter, subject Zhu. Age 36, received status, massive infection of mold. Note registered for cremation. Bob as Ashworth, BSA, 42, overdose from sleeping pills. What is this? Brain damage with internal bleeding, no information. In a bus crash down a hill at Redacted. In a car accident at Redacted. Severe hypothermia. These are people that died. What is this? Room 17 key. Uh-huh. We need, we love to have a shotgun right now. Or like a med kit. More shotgun ammo. Can I open this? Locked. Could use corrosive to break latch. Okay. Uh, can I, I can go in here. What's this? Inventory full. Ah! No! No! Not you, Project uh, Subject Zoo! You were the chosen one! Well, you're fucking dead. I'm for you. I'm for you, Phasmo guy. The dude from Phasmo. You're, you're the true chosen one. <laughs> Bob, you're up. BSA. Okay, so they're dead, but they got res resurrected somehow. I need a weapon, first of all. Because we can survive once. I wish I kept that med kit. That would have been nice. Okay, so we can go in here. Can we steal our stuff? Oh, 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 that scared the shit out of me. That guy walking past. Uh, what do you got? It's confusing as hell. What do you have? It was this. Oh, med kit. Med kit. Okay. He's just walking around. What is this? Rocking ammo? It's a room key. Oh, it's 11. Pistol ammo? Oh, this is just gonna be ammo. Knife! Nice. Okay, we got a knife. And we can have another mech kit. I'm dropping my pistol ammo because I don't even have a pistol anyway. And then we're picking up... The Fuck. Drop this. And then pick up the... We can do this. We would love to have the pipe back. So he's in front of us. Where? Where is the... Ah! Okay, fight him, fight him. What the fuck? Okay, and then use item. Use item. Nice, he's fine again. Okay, let's go. We saved you. Okay, we can't go in here. Is this room number 12? What is this? Okay. Hi there. Don't look at me like that. That's terrifying. Okay, we need to get into room 11. Probably gonna be close to room 10. Yes, it is. What the fuck? Why did you turn around like this? Okay, go in here. And then go into room... Okay, we're in room... Room 11. Nice. What's that? More lore. 
You can create a highly corrosive acid that can dissolve metal in an instant. To do so, you need to blend chemical S8H and chemical R7E with mixing equipment in equal portions. This will produce enough for two uses. Okay, S8H, R7E. What do I do now? There's nothing back here. Better not come in here. Room 8 key, that looks special. It's an access room for the storage. <laughs> what is the shadow doing in my room? Excuse me, I'm in a wheelchair, by the way. What is the shadow in my room? That's actually terrifying. What the fuck? Uh, where, we're supposed to go to room 8, right? You need to go to room... Room 10, yes, and then room 13. Room 13, and then, ah! What the fuck, there's so much damage to me, excuse me. Luckily we got another mech kit, but Jesus. Uh, isn't room, isn't the room on this side? Wait, how do I look at room eight? Oh, room eight is in room 10. Whoops, I'm stupid. It's along this wall. Yes, all right. And I'm not. There we go. Storage. Beckett! Let's go! The donuts? Electric tape. Okay. Not donuts. I'm disappointed. This game is awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh we can stab you now. This is this Phasmo guy is gonna do it. He's gonna he's gonna one man. One man show this. Uh, so where do we go now? What do we kind of, what do we even do? What is this? Door? EMP device manual! EMP device or electromagnetic pulse device is designed to neutralize a supernatural entity for a short period to help give Demcorp workers some time to escape the bunker before it goes into lockdown. Despite its name, the EMP device doesn't emit the same kind of electromagnetic pulse that can fry electronics. Rather, it emits the electric pulse in a spe special way that it won't affect electronics, but it will affect the electrons that supernatural entities are composed of, leading to them to be unstable and incapable of forming a physical form. While the EMP device is connected to a control panel, the device requires a second source of power to work, particularly a car battery. The reason for this is because electric pulses that the device emits can travel through power cables and can lead to a serious malfunction with the bunker's electronic devices, leading to a shutdown. When the device is activated, the machine will instantly switch from the wall to its battery system. It is also important to note that even when the EMP device is running in standby mode, it can send tiny electric pulses that will not, while not affecting anything, can make small burns to some of its cables. So it is very important to check weekly for damages on the cables and replace them. Um, <clears throat> controls, it needs a bypass key. What is this? Cable needs to be fixed and it's missing a battery. Fuck me, dude. We got tape. What's this? Is that a thing? Shotgun ammo that I will never be able to use. Also, this door is locked. Okay. Okay. So we don't know where to go. Oh. She's just so much damage now, dude. I'm going through my mechas like crazy. Okay, I could have just ran away. Probably should ran run away, most of all. Okay, so we're back in this special room that we've been in before. That's shotgun ammo. Pistol ammo. Okay, we're... Can we open these? We cannot open these. Um, I think we just have to go into rooms that we haven't been in before. Maybe, maybe we can go into room... Oh, there's a keycard. I would... There, drop this, and then get the keycard. Inventory full. What do you mean inventory full? Room 17. Did we... We haven't been in room 17, right? We need to go... For room 3 right now? Oh, we're in room 2. So go to room 13. Yes. And then room 17 is over here in 16, yes. <clears throat> and then 17. 
Uh, what the hell? What are you doing? Can we go in here? <gasps> we can! Pistol ammo that I don't need. So can we finally find a fucking pistol? There's a pistol! Dude! We're gonna fucking kill that guy! Pistol. Right? There's this pistol or is this just pistol ammo again? It's fucking pistol ammo! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the hell? When did you find the pistol? Okay. Drop the pistol ammo. I don't care. What is this? Is this one of those? R7E. Okay, we need one more chemical component to be able to make the I see. Cool. Okay. I understand. We have already this is the thing. Yeah, we need to go. Where was the lab? That was room. Forgot which room it was. Oh god. We'll probably just not attack you. Uh, we're probably dead as well. Uh was it room six? It was room six, right? It was attached to room six. This room? What? Oh. Can I get a med kit, please? We need to find a pistol. That would be ideal. Okay, I haven't been to room... Wait, oh, room five and four are... That ship next three is, is resilient for sure. Um, What is room number 14? We need to learn which rooms are important because we're definitely gonna this is a this is a tough game let's go to room 14. oh this is where we start okay okay that's fine at least we're getting this is this map is pretty small it's pretty manageable um what's room 18. uh room 18 needs to be opened okay oh we can zoom in as well okay room 18 needs to be opened so we can't get in there Room number 12, what are you? You're the chemical room, okay. What is this? Mixing equipment. <gasps> we can do this. Yes, okay. We put in the chemical. I'm breathing in the chemicals. Uh, okay, so we have the first chemical. What the fuck just came through? Did you see that flying over there? Now we need the other chemical. I would love to have the weapon that my other guy had. I was way- Ah, no! He is gonna die! Face death. We're not gonna make it. System error. What's gonna happen now? Oh. All right, ending F failure. The last thing you can remember is the glass shattering and your life slowly draining away by the entity. Despite all your efforts, you failed. That was a pretty good, solid first attempt, honestly. We need to retry that. That was lots of fun. Return to the main menu. Do that again. We can beat this. Uh, it's resizing. Yes, get me in. Uh, yes, we know We know the, the gist of the game. Okay, so we need to keep our subjects alive as long as possible. You basically got three lives. <clears throat> Face. There, okay. We got, we got fast mode guy number one. Let's go. Osmo guy number one, you're gonna carry us. You're gonna do big things. <gasps> you got a mech kit right away. Okay, amazing. We just need to find a weapon, which this is a knife. All right, we got the knife. Okay, so let's check all the rooms we can find. Room six is a locked room. Okay. This is lore. We don't need the lore right now. That's pistol ammo. I'm just gonna leave all the pistol ammo around. This is pistol ammo, right? Yes. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that all around. Is that a pistol? There's a key card. Room 18 key. Okay, let's go into locked rooms first. We're in room number 13. We just need to follow it to the this side. Wait, what? Oh, no, we need to get into room 13. Yes, and then we need to follow it. What was this? Jock and ammo. We can't even use that. No, don't waste your inventory on it. Room number 18. Here we go. Uh, access card. Use it. There. Okay. This is the mixing room. There's a pistol! Holy shit. We are already doing so much better. Dude. Get the pistol. Holy shit, we got a pistol. We're gonna go sicko mode. Shotgun ammo, don't need that. Now I wish I had pistol ammo. PC mask. Notes. The current PC mask prototype has been showing improvements over the past iterations. Past side effects such as increased panic levels 
Tearing in the eyes, twitches and mumbling have made no appearance. We're unsure if the subject is aware of being possessed, but it's irrelevant. There's something going wrong, but it's irrelevant. What, what matters is that the subject is unable to resist the influence of the PC mask. Am I dying? We originally wanted to install the head-mounted cameras, but it has become an issue due to the high levels of supernatural energy that the PC mask emits. So this is the mask they're wearing. The footage becomes completely corrupted. Also, while the supernatural energy is not usually strong enough to affect our security cameras, whenever a subject receives any serious damage or gets killed, a large jolt of energy shoots out, causing a slight corruption to the security cameras. Lastly, so far, the masks can stay connected with the control center within the bunker, but any further, the connection breaks and the subject becomes unpossessed. We almost had a casualty when we tried to send a subject out for a field testing, and he attacked a staff member in the elevator. Luckily, security shot the subject before it harmed anyone, so now we are down another test subject. Okay. What the hell is this shit? Is this an ammo? Entity 7 notes. Type hostile. Possessions 21. Fatalities 33. Entity number 7 was found possessing a young girl in a home located in Redacted. The girl was found restrained to her bed with the bodies of what appeared to be her family and an exorcist lying next to her. After incinerating the girl's body, we were properly... <laughs> what the fuck? We were properly able to contain the entity for testing and experimentations. The entity resembles a tall, thin, decaying humanoid wearing a pair of old jeans and boots and what appears to be a mask made of porcelain that is in good condition compared to the rest of the entity. The current origins of this entity remain unknown, but current evidence and research suggests that this entity has been around for about 70 years and appears to be the cause of at least 21 possessions. While most possessions have led to the victim getting killed within a few weeks of possession, some of its victims have survived. Survivors have reported that before the entity possesses you, it will remove its mask, revealing its decaying face. The entity then places the mask over the victim's face, leading them to be possessed by the entity. Interesting. Okay, we need ammo ASAP. We have a knife right here. We just need, we need to run out here. We need to get out of this room real quick. This pistol ammo. Reload. Can I shoot now? I guess I shoot ready weapon and shoot. Okay, nice. Oh! <gasps> Dude, that's insane. He's going crazy with it. Okay, nice. Okay, that's so much better. But he took one hit and that's it. Okay, we need to explore more. And we didn't actually get anything there besides the gun, but the gun is probably worth it. Oh, there's a uh, pistol ammo here. Nice. We got an insane amount of pistol ammo. Let's go. We need to... What is the beepity poop? We need to explore room number six. That's to be opened. EMP. Room number 14. Oh, this is where we're going back to the beginning, I think. Yeah, this is where we started. Okay. <clears throat> go into room... Uh, this is room seven. I keep going back here. Sorry, I'm a little lost in the sauce. There's a bit of a getting used to everything okay what is this first aid kit inventory full you know what i don't even care i'm using that picking up another first aid kit i know we're running through first aid kits now okay we, we know the what is room is this this is room 13 15 and 17 are right here this is room number 16 so 16 is the emp device we cannot go into 17 we cannot go into 15, so we need to find keys for that. Let's go to 10 and then 11 and 12. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck. Run. Is he gonna come through? Why is this so fucking annoying? No! Why are you not fucking shooting? What the fuck, brother? Why is he not shooting? I don't understand. Don't I have the- do I have the, have the ammo selected? Use the mech kit. Okay. I can't shoot. Weapon empty. Reload the damn weapon! Why can't I reload? How do I reload the gun? How do I reload the gun? Uh, reload weapon. Ready weapon. How do I reload? Help! Run! 
Uh, use, use, use. Reloading pistol. Okay, there we go. Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Come out here, bitch. See what happens. <clears throat> I, I did it. Is he gonna come from behind now? Okay, that took forever. Uh, he left me. What is this clock, dude? Am I running out of time? What's happening? Oh god! Dude, he didn't even took a single hit! The guy is insane! Nice. Okay. Okay. That was scary. Alright, zoom out. Zoom out. We need to go to... What the fuck was the clock? Um... We need to go to room number 10. So... This is just this way. Room number 10, and then we check out room number 12. Wait, 12 needs a key? Okay. Does 11 need a key too? 11 needs a key too. Okay, we need to find keys. Gun's actually insane. What is this? Is that a key? Room 6 key. Okay, go to room 6. Uh, room 6 is all the way... Is back through room 13. Over here. And then we go into room 2. I'm sorry, the layout is actually pretty neat. We use the key card. Nice, we made it. Let's look around. What is this? This is the... I don't care about that. Is there something over here? This. Locked case. Okay, we need to... So, room six, we need the corrosive. Okay, I see. Oh, boy! Oh, well, rip, you took damage, but that's okay. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. I took damage. I think I can survive, but that was not ideal. Uh, can I please find a mech somewhere? Okay, where are we going now? So that didn't give us anything. I want to go back to... Oh, we're mechs! Dude, let's go. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Room number one. <clears throat> can we... Is this a room? Control room. It's locked. Okay. Wait, is that... Is that... Pistol ammo? Pistol ammo, nice. Okay, we're walking past... <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, it's this guy. It's the shadow that shows up. I'm completely lost in the sauce right now. We're in room number 10. Can we go into room 8? No, room 8 is the storage, right? Yeah, all these rooms are fucking locked. I need to... Is my gun not reloaded? It's reloaded. Okay, we need to look around for key cards. There's gotta be key cards on the floor that I'm just missing. Room number nine. Ah, let's go. I haven't gone in here at all. There's a key card. Room number 11 and 12. Okay, what is this? Corrosive, and you can use it twice. So nice. Okay, room 11 and 12. No! Run. Shit, you got hit again. You please. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, room- This is our first character, by the way, so even if this guy dies, we need to go to room number 10. Uh, that, 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 that was it. Okay. Use. Okay. Uh, this is the mixing station. What's this? Crystal ammo? We're literally using up all the ammo. Uh, chemical book. Is it a different one this time? It's still the same components. Okay. So I guess it didn't do anything really to get that room. What was this? More pistol ammo? Lol, we're actually cracked. Oh, key card. Room 15 key. Nice. Room 15 key. Okay. So we need to go... Oh, I think he's activated again. Uh, we need to go through here to room number 13. That's room number one. That's not where I want to be. I need to go to the other side. Room number 13. And then we need to go to room number 15 through room number 16. Yes. Perfect. What's this? Experiment results. To test how capable the mask is at controlling the subject, we place a set of chemicals and tools in front of the subjects and using the PC PCS system, we'll have the subject perform a few dangerous chemistry tests with no protection on the subject. Some of the chemistry mixtures will create some fumes that can be painful, irritated, 
can be painful irritated when contacted with the eyes and other mixtures can be very toxic if the subject isn't too delicate with the chemicals. If the subject shows no irritation and is completely successful in making the different mixture, it will help suggest the subject's body is completely powerless over the mask. Possession Experiment 64. Moment we begin the experiment, we came across a malfunction with the mask. We commanded the subject to twist its his wrist to pour a chemical, but instead the subject twists his neck 180 degrees, snapping the neck and killing the subject. <laughs> so, subject... Wait, this is you from before. Oh, wait, what? Are these the subjects from before? Subjects started fine at first, but inward into the experiment, the subject began to form strong tears in the eyes, and soon the subject's hands started to shake. We decided to ex end the experiment there. Subject was completely powerless at first from the mask, but as soon as we had the subject mixing more dangerous chemicals, the subject began to shake and dropped one of the chemicals, leading to creating very poisonous fumes. <laughs> Um, the experiment was very successful. The subject performed ev every chemical mixture without any issues. That's e AMP. That's that's us. That's us. <laughs> we're AMP. But we're successful. Let's go. Uh, another key card. Room 8 key. Let's go. Open the door. Can I not open the door? Excuse me. Can I not get in here? Um, I don't think I want to go. Come over here. Come over here, you piece. What am I supposed to do? He's, he's right in that room, dude. I can't walk in there and start shooting him. The camera angle is going to change. I'm going to be fucked up. Dude, he didn't even get hit a single time. He's fucking crazy. He is insane mode. What is this? First aid kit. Uh, yes. Drop this. This guy is gonna do it for us. Uh, drop item for now. Pick up the first aid kit. Use the first aid kit. I know it's a little, little wasty, but that's fine. Okay, what do you have here? Nothing. Okay, fine. We have a key card and we have the chemical. He's breathing in the chemicals once again. Okay. Uh, we have already reloaded, guys. So we need to go to room. What was the room with the with the lab? Was that that was room twelve, right? We need to go to room thirteen, and then go through. Where am I going? I'm lost in the sauce. I think it's this way. Uh, yes. No, it is not. It's this way. It is this way, and then there. Yes, and then we put it in here. So we have we get empty our inventory and in case we die we're gonna have already done this okay nice so now we have key number eight let's go to eight which is to oh he's in the room number six so this is fine we need to head out um head out he's in room number three you can see the numbers glitch by the way uh room number one don't want to go there room number eight Boom. Have another chemical, please. What is this? Fucking ammo. Can't even use that. Fuck, we just get the electrical tape that we don't need. I think we're gonna leave that. So, eight. I need you guys to remember that eight has electrical tape in case we ever need that. I'm not gonna pick that up because I'm probably. Where is he? He's in room number 13. Okay, this is bad. We're close to that. We're gonna go through room number one then. I do not wanna be with him. Look at me. You're doing a great job, dude. I'll move on. Um, I need, he needed some motivation. Uh, what the fuck? Need another. Oh, more pistol ammo. We also have a lead pipe here in case we need that later. Where's the guy? He's in room number 18. That's totally fine. We're on the opposite side, and we get a fucking mech kit. He's insane with it. Okay. Room number six. That's this room again. What's back here? Is that a mech kit? Oh my god, that's another mech kit. He's actually, he's in Sano mode. Okay, you know what? No, we have an empty slot. We can keep the mech kit. So room number six has a mech kit in case we need it on another character or later. Remember that? Room number six has a mech kit. Where are we going? Where's the monster? Monster's in 12. 
We're gonna go into 13. Oh, he's in 13. Come out here. Come out here, see what happens. Come on. Where's he? He's in 16. He's going, he's, he's in 13 again. He's in seven. You know what? I'm walking in here. But he's te he teleported to 11. Wait, what? He's in 10 now. He's in 10, which is right over there. Is he going to come through here? I just want to shoot you. He's in 12 now. He's right here. He's right in this room. If he starts to open, if he opens that door, I start blasting. He's in 11 now. Okay. You're going to walk. He's in back in 12. Fuck. Fuck, he's in 10. Okay. He should see me. Wait, he's teleporting around. What the hell is going on, dude? He's going to 18 now. What the fuck? He's lost in the sauce, man. Whatever. Okay, we need another chemical. So, but probably we have missed a key card somewhere. So we need to look around very closely to find the key cards. So let's just be methodical about it. So we're in room 11 right now. Let's check 12. Or we're in room 12. Let's check 11. This is chemical book. We've already read that. Um, so none of these rooms have anything. Okay, so room 11 and 12 are cleared. Let's room, go into room 10. You're in 12, actually. What the fuck? Run. Uh, go to room 13. He's in 18 now. Can I just kill you, please? Come out of this room. You can see the numbers glitch slightly. If you're confused, by the way, how I know. Absolutely destroyed. Okay, there's a knife. Okay, so we're checking room... What is this room? This is room number 18, right? Yeah, let's check room number 18, 16, 17, etc. Until we find something that... What is this? Room 17 key! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Okay. We need to go to room number 16, which is right over here. And then go into 17. Beautiful. Okay, what is in 17? Oh, this room! We're gonna find another chemical here. Nice! Okay, we got another chemical. And what is this? More ammo? Pistol ammo? Inventory full? Uh, I mean, we're killing it. Have more pistol ammo. If we ever need pistol ammo, it's in room number 17. Okay, we need to go to room number 12. Monster somewhere? I don't see it. Just run. Okay, mix it. Mix me up real quick. Mix it. What now? I've done it! Okay. We got corrosive. It works twice. So now we need to go... Uh, what do we need to do? There was a locker in room number... 9 or 8, was it? Oh, he's in 13. Oh. He's in 16. Fuck. Is he gonna come out of 16? 16 is right back here. He's here. Is he coming for us? Ah! How did he come from there? Man. Oh, baby. Okay. Uh, we need to go to room number eight. This is back here. Is this room number? No, this is not the right room. Uh, room number nine, I think. So continue downwards. No, oh, this is room number one. I'm, I'm, I went the wrong way down the hallway. This is the game is truly stressful. This room. This room has the locker. And then we can use the corrosive here. Gun locker? Holy shit, is he gonna get the shotgun? What is this? Battery! We need the battery. What is it? What is this? Shotgun! Oh my god, we don't have shotgun ammo though. I think we're fine. We're leaving the shotgun so that if this character ever dies, we have the. Or, I mean, we can swap as well, but I think we'll just stick with this for now because we have ammo for this. Uh, now we need to go to battery, which is in room number 16, which is just further down this hallway. And then we put the battery in here. Oh, we put. Oh no, put the battery in here. Nice. What else do we need? We think we need a bypass key. Okay. Where's the monster? Okay. What do we... He's in 10. 
We're just going to two. Oh god, he's walking past me. He's walking past me. What the fuck is going on? Is he here? Where is he? He's in room number one. We're going to room number one. Oh, oh, he's walking past me. Six needs corrosive as well. Okay, six. Uh, we're gonna go through one to get to six. But that's. Wait, are we? We're, wait, we were, we're on the right side, no? Yeah, we are. Six. Ah! Oh. Woo, baby! <laughs> Get fucked, dude. Hey, this thing. Wait. You can- I thought it said you could use the corrosive twice. Oh, you need to get it again from- You need to get more corrosive to use it again. Okay, okay. I- I was about to become the Joker. Okay, we need to go through room number one to get through room number here to get more corrosive in room number 11 or 12, I think it was. There. Better have more, dude. There. Okay, perfect. Now we need to go back. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Just run down this hallway. Yes. I can hear the footsteps. Perfect. I love that he walks past. Okay, room number six. There. What is this? Bypass key! Oh my god, he's going insane! Oh, which... Oh, he's in room number one. Wait, we can, we can fucking fight him in front here. Wait, that's gonna be so epic. Dude, look at this. Come out here! <laughs> Come over here! <laughs> where is he? He's, he's all the way up 16. That's where we have to go. Fuck you! Oh, he's in 10. He's coming through here. Oh, he is. screen instead of at the fucking camera screen i'm stupid use the first aid kit run i was using at my uh, i'm stupid reload the gun okay shoot him in the face Woo! <laughs> okay bypass key we have the bypass key we need to get to 16 here yes now what use it Need to fix this EMP device. Let me guess, you need fucking tape. Do you need tape? What do you need? Electrical cable needs to be fixed. It was room eight, right? Yeah, room eight. Okay. I go through here, go to 10, go through 10 to eight. Get this. Are we reloaded? We are not reloaded. We don't have ammo. We don't have ammo. We only have four bullets, guys. What the fuck? Knock on the door. We can grab the shotgun. Uh, ammo in 17, you're right. Ammo in 17, which is through... Or that's here. Through room number 13. This is not room number 13. And then ammo in 17, which is in 16. 17. Did you guys actually save me for myself? Yeah, reload the gun. Okay. Perfect. Oh boy, he's right here. That's fine. Okay. Um, now we have the tape, so we need to go back to just fixing it here in 16. Did I do it? Oh! Leave the control room by looking at the door and pressing click. I did it? What do I do? Oh, am I just gonna leave them there? Oh. Why is your head so squished? Uh oh. Did we do it? Yeah! <laughs> Ending E selfish! No! We could have saved them! Once the elevator door opens, you made a break for it, leaving your test subject behind. You went into hiding, afraid of what Demcorp or the government would do if they were ever captured. You, in the end, the ghost of what you and Demcorp have done will haunt. Wait. 
In the end, the, ho the ghost of what you and Demcord have done will haunt you for the rest of your life. But at least you are alive. We need to save them. We need to save them. So how do we save them? Do we get them to the elevator as well? Where's the elevator? Oh, the elevator is in room number one. So then I can get them to room number one. I can get them all in the elevator. Then I click and I have 30 seconds for that. That's totally doable. But they might die. That's totally doable. We can do that. That's amazing. Okay, get me back to the menu. We need to save them. Save them ending. This game is very fun. It's very intense. And we did that all with one character. We're insane with it. Okay, so we know exactly what we're doing. So we need to find key cards until we get into the... Uh, like, we, we know exactly the, the steps we need to take now. Okay, so Amp, you're doing it. Because everyone needs to live, because if Amp dies... Uh, shotgun ammo. So you only pick up, like, one pile of pistol ammo. You pick up a knife first. Seems like the a the items are relatively fixed. And then here's a key. Oh, the key cards are in the same place. Excuse me. Room 18 key. Wasn't there a gun in room 18? Grab this. I'm gonna drop off my knife and get the pipe. And the pipe is definitely better. The gun was where? I forgot where the gun was. Uh... We have more than enough pistol ammo. That's another key card. Key card in uh, in room one. Key card in room one. We need to go to room 18, which is through this way. <clears throat> Actually, it's through... My brain starts hurting. You need to go this way. Yes. And then you need to go down to 13, and then 18 is right there. Perfect. Here's the key card. Okay, beautiful. Now we're gonna open this door. I know we didn't go in there, but we're going in there. We need to go into 18, remember, remember. Oh, there's another key card there, excuse me. Room six key, okay. Uh, which is straight through here. Okay, let's open, we're opening so many doors so fast. Room number six. Okay, that door's open. Let's check in room number six. Oh, this is, Oh, this is where you get the bypass key? Okay. What is this? Another key card for room 17. We're actually killing it. Do we still need to go into room 18? We have the key card for room number 17. We would love to have a gun. Was 18? Did 18 have the gun? Because then we should go to 18 first. I think 18 might have had the gun. Let's check 18. I don't remember. Wasn't there a gun here? Room 15 key? I guess we can take, pick them both up. PC mask notes, we already got this. What's this? Shotgun ammo, we don't need that. Dude, not having a gun is gonna kill us, though. What the fuck, I'm getting called? Ah! Ah! Loop him. Loop him. Get looped. Get looped, fuck. Piece of shit. 14. No, we're going back. All right, we could fight him. Okay, we took two hits. We need to find a mech kit. We need to find a mech kit. We haven't found a single mech kit. Because we need to keep them all alive, right? Room 17 and 15 we got, and we need to find a mech kit. Mech kit, mech kit, mech kit. Room 17. Wait, wait, they're both in here. Wait, so now we have the corrosive, right? That's this? That kit? Anything? That's the corrosive, but... Oh, there's a mech kit! Okay, nice. You li you heal, perfect. You get the corrosive number one. That's pistol ammo, we already have pistol ammo. Uh, corrosive number two. Because then you can't just get the fucking shotgun and we can just start fucking blasting. Okay, room number 15 has a med kit remember wait is that a key just notes i don't care it is two med kits okay two med kits for this room if we ever need med kits we go back here 15 is two med kits okay now we go to 11 i don't have this key oh the key was in one fuck wasn't it shit 
Drop this. Drop this. I can't drop it here because it's going to be on top of the other thing. I'm dropping it in front of room 12. And then we need to go to room 1 to grab the key card for these rooms. It's just literally right over here. I remember. Yes, there it is. Dude, insane gameplay. Um, open the door. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just fight him. Just f Oh, there's a pistol. Okay, just fight him once. I took so much damage. Okay, fight him once. We drop this weapon. We grab the pistol. We reload the pistol. We grab the room eight key. Okay, now we go just anything. Save. Save this character. That's all we need, because we need everyone to live. So we go back to room 15, which is just through here. That's through 13, so we need to go back to 13. Don't knock on my door. Room number 15. Pick up the med kit. Use it. Okay. Nice. Use eight key. I think we pick up med kit now. Pick up this med kit. Yes. Okay. We have ammo. We are good. Go back to room 16. Get out here. There's another med kit in 16, by the way. Holy shit. Okay. Med kit in 16 in case we need it. Uh, oh. Oh, boy. He's in room number one. Which is next to room number two. I'm fucking shooting him. Absolutely fucked. I mean, I love how the thing actually impacts. Nice. Okay. Um, we're good. We just need to go to room eight, which is through room 10, which is through this way. Yes. Open eight. So we use this key card. What's in here? Oh, is it another mech in the electrical tape? Just pick up the electrical tape and bring it to another mech in eight if we need it. Bring it to room number 16. Because we're going to need it here later anyway. So might as well just drop that in the corner. There. And then we go back. And then we pick up both the chemicals. I'm breathing in the chemicals. Okay. Mix it. Nice. We could use more ammo. Mix. Mix me. Two mixies. We can pick up two of this. We just pick up both. And then... Where was this? I forget. Was it an eight? No, it wasn't an eight. Um, room number... Room number 12 or something? Or... Oh, hi. Did you not see me? He didn't see me. He just walked away. The bypass key was somewhere. Oh, he's walking in room number one. That's fine. I'm, I'm kind of chasing this guy now. This doesn't seem right. Uh, room number six was the case. Do we have room number six? I don't know if we can go in there. There were more key cards somewhere, but I forgot. Let me go into room number six. We do. Which is the bypass key. So that's the first thing. Okay, bypass key. Wait, we actually have everything we need, right? It's gonna be hard though, because we're, we're gonna have very limited time. So this goes to room number... Very, very, I'm taking the biggest detour of my entire life. We're gonna run into him for sure. Oh god. Leave the bypass key here. Okay, we have the bypass key and the electrical thing. Now we need to go battery. In ah! You didn't even get hit. Absolutely insane. Okay. We need to go. What do we need to do? We need to go to room number nine, I think it was. Nine. And then this, yes. And then there was a battery in here, right? Battery, 
And we can have shotgun, but we don't have shotgun bullets. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. And we do... Is this shotgun bullets? No. Uh, battery go... We have enough to repair it, right? But we, we have to kill him first again. So let's just repair, but then don't click the button. We need a bypass key. Put in the battery. Put in the electrical tape. Okay. Now with the bypass key, this can be completed. So what we have to do now... Is we have to bring them to root. Okay, okay, I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a stupid plan, but it's it's gonna work. So we have to bring all of them to room number one. Because that's where the elevator is, right? I'm going to room 10. What are you doing? Ah, no! This is perfect. Okay, room number one. Here we go. Reload the gun. Reload the gun. Grab the first aid kit. Use the first aid kit. Go into room number... Where's room 13? This is not the room where we have to go. Because now we have some time. Because he's dead. So we go to room number one. I don't know why I bring him over here. We should have... Okay. Now we go with this guy. And we go to room number one. We just rush. And if we see this guy in front of us be attacked, then we can swap over. Because we know. Go to room number 10. I think I'm doing the fucking worst way imaginable. Okay. You're there. Go. Okay. I think we can go into room number two, and that's much faster. Instead of going all the way around. Okay. So, but what happens if... But what... Uh, no, what we have to do now is we have to kill him again. Is he anywhere? Because I, I can't leave these guys here undefended. Because if I get attacked, I can't move them both away. Okay, we need to go to room number 10. And then shoot. Because he's going to room number 13. We just rush him. We just fucking... Oh, no. He's going to room number 2. No! Save my buddies! Come here. Ah! Oh, he got fucked out. Okay. Now we just go. Now we rush, rush the bypass key. Bro, go, 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 go. Room number 13. Here we go. Boom. It needs a bypass key. You have it. Click the button. Okay. Here we go. We need to go. This is so short, man. Help. How do I do this? Go in there. I did it! They're all in there! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Saved! <laughs> Hell yeah! Ending A, Redemption! You were able to escape the facility along with all three test subjects. Soon after you escaped, you report... You report Demcorp and yourself to the authorities for their illegal experiments. You don't know if the test subjects you escape with can forgive you for what you did to them or if they'll ever be able to recover. You wouldn't blame them if they had killed you the moment they were free, but it seems they have decided to make you live with what you have done. We did it. That was very, very cool game. Very well made. I absolutely loved that. What an awesome little scary like scp kind of idea and very cool design like i really love the way that you controlled everything very unique i absolutely love that one let me know uh what you thought about it and i hope you enjoyed the video if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the love the games here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash instagram click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs> that was fun all righty good stuff we did it we finished the game we did it! <laughs> we did it! The game, we found a good game. It can be done. Okay, but we still have more time, so we can do another game as well. Uh, Steam VR initialization failed. I was not playing in Steam VR, so I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, next game. Let's see. Other game. That was great. That was actually great. Like, genuinely fun gameplay, spooky atmosphere, everything. Uh, let's see. Um, what are we looking at? Oh, we have another game from the same developer. 
Sure. Do I have that? I don't think I have that downloaded. Oh, I don't think I have that downloaded. Feels bad, man. Do I? No, I don't think I do. We can check that out another time. Uh, we can check out this game called Spectral Filter. I don't know anything. Did I already play this game? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't think so. Did I? Read before playing. Headphones are recommended. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, it didn't launch. Did I actually do a virus this time? Did I actually get virus? Have I ever played the SCP games? Yes, I have. Uh, Spectral Filter definitely did not play this. Looks funny. That game is... It's crazy how you can, like, lose energy from, like, playing shit games, and then you play a good game, and it's just... It's like nothing ever went wrong. Let's go, dude. Okay, so this is game is called Spectral Filter. I don't know anything about it, besides that it's an indie game, so let's go check it out and have a great time. Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> Spectral Filter? I don't think it's gonna be on Steam. It's not on... It's not, not on thing on YouTube or Twitch at words. Um, the... Let's see. Sorry. Lost in the sauce. The Spectral Filter. Please don't crash my stream. You did not crash my stream. I appreciate you. All right, let's go. Video settings. Give me anti-aliasing. Can we turn down the um, FPS? Can we turn down the FPS, please? Because it's going to go sicko mode. I guess we just leave it. All right, sure. We go. Hat Bob. Fuck off. Build a view. 70, that seems fine. Uh, music volume goes down. Let me just hop in. We'll just see what it's about. Give me one second. Signing below, I affirm that in the event of my death, all remnants of my consciousness are to be permanently extinguished. I give full permission to any state entity or contractors thereof to carry out extinguishment to the extent afforded by state and federal law. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Graphics? Graphics? Jesus. Is this real life? Holy shit. Uh, left click. Sorry, I was distracted by the graphics. What? It told me how to open this door, but I was... Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. This is like that freaking unrecorded v game that went viral on Twitter. Insane. Unreal Engine 5, for sure. The only thing is that the plants are literal 2D textures. <laughs> the lighting is on point. Uh, press tab to view objectives. Orders! The technician before you was unable to process the body and failed to report the issue for nearly 17 hours. As a result, the site has become increasingly hazardous. Find the filter they left behind and use it to process the deceased. Notes, the previous technician to noted leaving the filter in the offices. The accident report implies that the body is in the maintenance area. Refrain from running, using flashlight or otherwise drawing attention to yourselves. Auditory... And visual aberrations have been reported. You are the only person expected to be present. Avoid anything that suggests otherwise. Okay, so we're like... We're part of some kind of government agency that, like, murders people. That... Or, like, extinguishes the soul of people. Interesting. It's like post Or not post-apocalyptic. Like, alternate universe. Hold shift to sprint. This is crazy. Oh. Hello? Uh, no thank you. Could you turn the light back on, please? Do I have a flashlight? I do not have a flashlight as far as I can see. Let me quickly change, turn up the... Oh, don't, don't do this. 
Uh, game option. No. Game options. Mouse look sensitivity. Ah. Oh, it didn't save. I didn't save. What do I do? I return and then apply. How does it apply? Excuse me. Oh, there. This is not even good enough. I guess that is it. Okay, that's better. Um, be place. Uh, I think we're just following the red lights. That's usually how these games go. Going to this door. This door doesn't even have a handle. Excuse me. It's insanely dark. I could use a flashlight. They did say I shouldn't use a flashlight, so maybe I shouldn't after all. Um. Oh, hi there. There's a flashlight. There looks like one. Press F to tell the flashlight. I am... Actually, this is, looks amazing. Holy shit. Um, okay, we got a flashlight now. Can we go behind this door? Does it have battery? It's blinking. I don't like that. Don't blink like that. A space right bumper to shake the flashlight to stop it from flickering. <laughs> I see. Okay. Let me go into the darkness now. Stop. Stop. Oh, I don't like that shaky. Wait, can we go over here before I start running all, all, all the way back? Let me see. Can we do anything over here? There's obviously something behind here, but I guess I can't, can't move this. Stop. Oh. <laughs> it's just, that's an interesting mechanic. Okay. It definitely doesn't seem to be anything here unless I turn on the power over here. Oh. I do turn on the power over there. I'm glad I did that. Okay. Now we continue. If you do it too much, you'll break the flashlight. Okay, noted. But you can move stuff? What the hell? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, don't shake it too much. It's gonna break. And I'm gonna be left in the dark. At least right now it's bright. Okay, none of these doors actually have... Handles on them. Excuse me. Power went out over here, right? So we're supposed to go... Can I read this book? No reason to read it, apparently. What's this? I can't move all this stuff, but why? It doesn't even make a noise when it hits the ground. Oh, here! Yes! I need to go into the offices. Can I open this door? I can. Alright, we're looking for a body. Just tap the view of the... Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, we're looking for the offices, so we are going to the right here, and then go into the offices. This is not... Oh, this one? This does not look like offices. Maybe this is offices? Looks like cafeteria. What is this? Picked up the filter! Okay, nice. That's what we needed. The spectral filter, the name of the game. Now, what do we do? Where, the body was in the offices, right? That's what he said. Uh, the previous noted leaving... The, oh, he left the filter in the offices. And the body is in the maintenance area. Okay. So where's the maintenance area? The maintenance area is... Okay, it's through the plant. And then to maintenance. Or we can go through the offices area. But let's just go this way. Through plants. Yes, this looks like a plant. I heard footsteps. That is not... That's not what I want to hear. Can I move this? Can I move this? I think there's a door we have to go into. Excuse me. Hello? This fucking door handle's missing too. Excuse me. What is this? Book and a light? This is one weird facility, huh? This is it? I think this is the maintenance, yes. Okay. The body should be here. Why would you put the filter so far away from the body, you stupid? Have you never done this job before? Don't you understand? 
Where's the body? Yeah, we're in maintenance. That's good. That's, we're leaving. I don't want to leave. I want to find the body. It's my core objective right now. Oh, is that a... No, that's just light. Any bodies? Oh, there it is! Body. Okay. On a body. Beginning filter process. Please stand by. How could he not do this? This seems extremely easy. Hello? Hello? You're wishing in process, process check, check back later? I mean, we're doing it. Something gonna come for me? I'm so confused. The lights are blinking now. Come back later. I don't wanna leave. No one seems to be here. I think we're totally fine. I think nothing spooky is gonna happen. I think this is a job well done. Job well done. Ghost hunt. How long does this shit take? How long does it take to extinguish a human soul? Come on now, it shouldn't take long. If, if TikTok still exists in this universe, people probably don't have much soul left. <laughs> Bumble BV, thank you for the prime. Oh! Filter process halted. Restore power in the area to continue. Okay. Got, why does the filter need power? Excuse me. All right, we need to go all the way back to the generator. What? You hear this? Oh! What? What is that? What the fuck? Did you see the whole- There's just a guy standing there. Excuse me? Okay, we need to find a map. Map. Um, I'm a little... A little spooked. Where's the map? Map was over here, right? Is it just in this area that the power is out? Or is the power out everywhere and we just need to go all the way back? go in there this is we're back in the plants but i guess i guess if we need to go back we we need to go back this way run away from him okay uh it's all out here so we're just gonna go back <clears throat> through this way i think it was these doors are not opening huh oh fuck me then oh no this is the plant right we're looking this way oh we need to get into the plant I hear a guy coming over there, though. I'm looking this way. I need to go that... Hello? This is actually genuinely spooky. I am not enjoying this. Can I go back? This is offices. Okay, we're back in the offices. Open the fucking door. We go through this way. There! Made it. Think so? I mean, the light is on here. The job is in. This is the exit? Okay. Dude, you are very. You are set to do this job, huh? You do not mess around. Here we're spring. I hear creepy noises. I do not appreciate. I need to somehow find the fucking. Okay, I remember this. Wait, no, 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 I remember this. This means we need to go here. And then left. And then this way. And then this should lead... Wait, maintenance is blocked off now too? What the fuck? We're in the offices. What the fuck? We're looking through this, so we need to go right then? Wait. Don't you need to go right? 
If the map makes any s if this map makes any sense and we need to oh well, we're going back to the entrance then I guess it's in the plants Where the fuck is the power shouldn't power be in the maintenance actually now that I think about it What the fuck? I hear whispering and shit this is Fucked up, man. Maintenance. Yeah, well, this is just, just maintenance. I guess we look around in maintenance. Any power here as well? I feel like we came from all the way back there. I don't think we weren't in maintenance. Yeah, this is where the body is. We're all the way lost in the sauce. Okay, so what the fuck? I just don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, you see that thing? What the fuck? It's like a shadow guy. Is that the soul? It just disappeared? It just disappeared. Am I gonna get murdered? Well, at least it's gone. Okay. Stop it. I need to go back. Offices. I think we need to go. Oh, there's another one. It's just a wandering soul. They're not actually going for me. The fucking blinkety flashlight is driving me nuts. Okay, where the heck is the. It's the generator. Generator? You talk to me? You just yell? Human gen generator? I don't know what the fuck. That door just closed right in here. What the fuck? Okay, this is insanely confusing. Atmosphere is fucking on point, but what am I supposed to do? <laughs> is this the generator? I think this is where it was originally. No, we're in the plant again. What the fuck? My brother in Christ. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Is this not- I feel like it should be down. So confused. Holy shit. This is just like a, a shortcut. Like it just leads up here. I don't know. Yeah, this is like a nightmare. Oh, this! I randomly found it. There. Okay, that was insanely hard to find. Excuse me, what the hell? Okay, now the day. Hopefully the soul is gonna be sucked. And no more creepy shadow guys, please. Okay, so if we ever need to find the generator again, we need to go down. Remember, note to self. Uh, I'm hearing evil noises. Excuse me. Door? Door? We'll close that door and why? Uh, oh, I see evil ghost orbs. What the fuck? What are these noises? Okay, we need to go back to maintenance, to the body. This is where we went earlier. I do not like it here. I actually straight up hate it here. Hello? 
Whoa, what the fuck? Um, no, thank you. Uh-oh. Did you see this? Where am I? Oh, there's more. They're just walking around. They're just chilling. They're not actually attacking me. You look like a soldier. Oh, he's disappearing. Okay. I went too far. I need to go to maintenance. Why is everything blocked? This is the door to maintenance. Oh, wait. Maybe this way? Yes, maintenance. Um, thank you for opening the door. I appreciate it. Uh, red, red lights. That means bad. That is a soldier. Pretty sure the body is here. Yes. Is it done? It's still not done? Are you kidding me? I hate this job. It's just... Filter process complete. Subject ready for termination. What? I'll never complain about my job again. What's just going on? It's bright. Don't credits me. I need some explanation of this world. This is very interesting, but don't credits me right now. Anything but credits. Jesus! Oh, here we go. We didn't get credits. I'm happy. Dude, this game looks fucking photorealistic. It's crazy. And the textures are so simple, too. How do they do it? Oh, there's something. Hello? This game is made in Unity? Why don't all Unity games look photorealistic? Yeah, the chromatic aberration is kind of painful, though. Still alive. Oh. What is going on? <laughs> I'm, I'm losing my mind. Did I extinguish my own soul? Isn't that the plot of... Isn't that the plot of a movie? Someone hired to, like, kill themselves? Like, be... Like, they go back in time to be a hitman to murder themselves? I'm pretty sure there's a plot of some movie. But I forgot which. Looper. Yes. That one. I heard it was pretty bad. <laughs> what? We're back? I leave? Looper's great? Okay, never mind. I mean, I didn't watch it, so I don't know. Uh, what the hell is going on? We just go back to the entrance. I am in he heaven no more. Plants. We go through plants. I don't hear any evil souls anymore. It seems like stuff's good. All the doors are open. Remember in plant, we just go through here. Never mind, this is not the way to go. Uh, when I look at this, I would think that I need to go a little bit left and then to the the right as soon as possible, but that's not actually how the map layout is. I'm being lied to. Yeah, but I'm being lied to. The map is just a fucking joke. What? This is we're back in offices, yes. Just go straight through. There it is! Exit! Let me out! What is gonna happen? I am really curious what they're gonna do. What the frick? Okay, it's just great lighting, I think, mostly. 
Like this game with shitty lighting would have looked fake, but it's just, I don't know how to, how is this done? Like how can other games replicate this? Like this looks insane. Am I, am I crazy to think that this is like too real? I guess it, look, when you look outside, you see that the plants are literal like 2D textures, but it still looks insane. I don't know how. How do they do it? Okay. <laughs> no! I, I mean, I guess it was kind of just a tech demo. <laughs> Fuck. I, was th I it needed to have something that... I mean, it was still, like, cool just because it looked so cool. But... And the world was so interesting. Why, would, why didn't you do more? That was so interesting. Like, what the hell is going on here? Like, just expand this into, like, a four-hour game? Holy shit, this could be cool. A game this pretty looking with this, like, weird concept of, like, you're, like, an agent of the government who's out to extinguish human souls. Like, what kind of dark concept is that? That could be really cool. All right, that's a bit of a shame that it ends like that, though. Okay, um, I think I, I need to get some... Oh, my God, it's so bright. I need to get some early rest today, so I think that's what we're going to call it today. Um, and... Tomorrow, hopefully, we're gonna do the level 15,000 special if, uh, if everything goes right. So that should be a crazy time to be alive. Hope to see you guys there tomorrow for the big day. Uh, last ever level, uh, level special. Last ever. So be there or be square. We're never doing it again. I mean, maybe we'll do something similar with prestige or something. I don't know. But levels are going away. So we need to, we need to go out with a bang. Let's see, who's live right now? I'll just scroll all the way down. Scroll all the way down, share the love with someone else. Why is everyone playing League of Legends under the Phasmo category? What's going on here? What's going on here? Uh, I'm going all the way to the bottom. We're going where no man has ever gone before. See here? I don't remember being here before. Let me see. I don't think we have. There's currently one one person watching the stream, and it's me. Let's go. Let's go make that a few more. Yeah, we haven't said hi here before. All right, we're going to go say hi to small streamers, so be nice. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Have a great night. I'll see you around. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll see you. Bye-bye. Good night.